All right. We are, uh, let me turn this here. Action time. All right, we're at the uh, Austin Capitol in about a half an hour or so. We're supposed to start the, uh, not we, they're starting the uh, prenatal murder rally uh, for killing babies. So I'm here with, uh, got Kenny, got my son. I won't show him because I don't know if he wants to be on. Oh, do you? Here you go. Show the sign. Oh, yeah, there you go. We're, we're here to troll him. Oh, yeah. I don't, I'm sure they can backwards. see that. Hey, is that backwards for you guys? I think it was. But anyway. How y'all doing? Good. How y'all doing? Yep. They had to check our flag. They've got a uh, an ordinance or a, a rule about what you can fly your flags on. Can't be wood, metal, plastic. plastic. Yeah, wood, metal, or plastic. So. Explain them. Well, this is a Texas-sized paper straw that happens to work very well as a flagpole as well. That's right. So, yeah, we got uh, got our flagpoles here that are DPS legal. Ugh. I saw yesterday they gave you a little bit of a hard time. Yep. Chris has got a whole bunch of signs, not just that one. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun day for sure. It's always fun to come on Capitol grounds and know the rules better than the actual officers do. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand the hook there. Coat hanger abortion. <laughs> oh, coat hanger abortions, got yeah. it. What do you say? Oh shoot, let me uh I'm gonna turn my mic on so that y'all can hear me a little bit better. I hope. Alright, what's going on? My mic's not working. There we go. Now it's working. All right, I don't know if uh, you guys can hear me a little bit better now. I'm all mic'd up. How's it going? They do always have the coolest music though with these things, I'll tell you that much. So where'd my son go? I need to keep an eye on him. Where did Chris go? Okay, I've lost my son already. Oh, of course, I'm in public. <laughs> I can't stop you. I know you do, because you, you guys believe in communism. Of course you want to stop free speech. Oh, of course you don't believe in free speech. I get it. I know you want to stop me. You just said you want to stop me. You just said you want to stop me. Did you not just say you want to stop me? Did you not just say you want to stop me? You wish somebody would stop me, so you don't believe in free speech. Okay, thank you for proving that. Thank you. I just, I just appreciate for the camera that you just proved you don't support free speech. But, but we already knew that. Mr. Woods, my name is CJ. You call me CJ. You have to call me whatever I identify by, don't you? Yeah. You, oh, you don't have to accept my identity. You don't have. You don't have to accept my identity. So now you're saying I don't. Have, you don't have to expect my identity. So that's interesting. You guys are full of uh, hypocrisy. What's that? 
Oh yeah, this is Austin. I voted for Donald Trump. I voted What's for that? Donald Trump. Oh well, thank you. We just had a huge conversation. Talking and I believe otherwise. Well, you'd be surprised. Some people don't because. Put it into action. That's the question, isn't it? Yeah. Put it into action. Um, so as far let's go, let's talk about the Bible real quick. I don't know. If are, are we are all created equal? Okay. I understand that declaration and so forth uh, of independence. Do you uh, find any scriptures in the Bible referring to equality for women? Do I find? Well, I don't have the Bible on me. I can okay. look up my. App, but why? Well, I'm just curious because a lot of people would say that. The, the Bible, the, what, what does the Bible have to do with equal rights? We're all we're all born equal. I agree. We're going to die equal. We're born naked. We're going to die naked. Okay. Uh, so, I, mean, I don't understand why why what why are you questioning me about the Bible? No, I was just curious because first off, from the atheist community, Boston, okay, gotcha. we're trying to normalize and get people to see that we're just out here for, like you, for equality, yeah. for women's rights, reproductive rights. So, okay. Do you agree with me? That everyone has the same rights? Yeah. Absolutely. Women, same Women, rights. men, children. Beautiful. Reproductive rights for women. Yeah, women have the same right to not have sex as men do. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Thank you so yeah. much. Appreciate Take care. It. Yes. So I mean, how's how's the how's the crowd since you are the minority, so to speak? I mean, how the crowd's been as far as interaction? Has it been positive, negative? Uh, I've only had uh, one lady that decided that she wanted to be rude, but other than that, I mean, I haven't had any issues. Okay. Good. Well, good. Yeah. All right. Let's, so, let's I mean, I, I I'm just respectful as people are to me. You know, if people are respectful to me, I'll be respectful back. Gotcha. I'm just here to stand here. You know, say that that I don't I don't support murdering unborn children. That's my point. Okay. So. Well, thank you again. You <laughs> All right. It, Take care. I'm I'm from Temple. Okay. And I'm yep. actually, I actually live in Fort Hood. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's yeah. where I retired out of. Okay. Uh, who, uh, where'd you serve? Or who'd you serve with? Well, which time? I mean, I was in 21 years, so okay. I retired. You retired at Fort Hood? At Fort Hood. But I'm from Temple anyway, so I, I went to Fort Hood to retire. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Yeah. I joined. But I was a 35 Lima was my MOS, if that's gotcha. what you're asking. Gotcha. And perhaps some more apt answers. We're from Open, open Carry, Texas, a gun rights group here in Texas. Where's your Open Carry? Right here. Oh, here we go. There it is. I had a coat on earlier, and usually when I have a coat on, I wear my drop leg because it's easier to, to get to if I need it. Yeah. Uh, and then I took my coat off because I was like, ah, it's not that bad today. It's, so. Good. I'm carrying concealed, but. Okay. Well, good. Thanks Thanks for carrying. Volunteer that information too. Well, if we don't uh, exercise our rights, we lose our rights, yeah, you know? I so. I agree. I'm down here visiting from Dallas. So kind of oh, okay. Oh, been up there many times. Let's see. Let's see. One atheist community, one communist community. Yeah, we had a we had a communist. Where's the atheist? The guy that was interviewing me. Oh, right here. Oh, okay, I see the sign. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Let me. Let me. Have you ever had sex with an animal? No. Well, then why are you worried about Just fighting for other people? Because you should be able to. Yeah. Would you consider that consensual, though? Because I believe in consensual sex. So how is that consensual? Well, they have to ask first, I think. But... Who has to ask? No, I mean the animal. The human. The human. Yeah. How does the animal get consent? They don't run away. <laughs> so they don't claw you. The neck. <laughs> they don't. So I mean, if you, so if you were to tie a rope around their neck, have them tied down, oh, would that be consent? So maybe you chase down a stray dog, or what would you do? You actually you spelled words right too. I'm impressed. You, Good job. How would you go about it? Well, I wasn't born in the fifties. I wasn't around in the fifties. Are you talking about the eighteen fifties? They don't have consent. Then it's not your problem. Ownership. So it's like owning a slave, and then making a slave. Okay, so. But they have rights too. And they, how, consent means having the power which to is, say yes, but yeah. also being able to say no. Which is how you ask them. No. Yeah. You oh, ask they, the dog. They, they run away. They bite you. This they, is awesome. He doesn't realize he's yeah. being trolled. So that's how they say Wait, is there something wrong with bestiality, though? That's what I'm, I mean, I'm... I've, I've, I've never actually met somebody. How do you know? So, 
I mean, if, if my dog doesn't want to go for a walk, he pretty much lets me know I don't want to go for a walk. How does he let you know that? By, by, by pushing against my leash. So do you think if, yeah. your dog, if you tried to have sex with your dog, do you think he would resist you? Well, I'm not going to have sex with a dog. Oh, this is, uh, I, I don't know why anybody would have sex with a dog. Hey, this is about rights, is it not? I mean, people should have the right to have sex with whomever they want. That that that. Whomever they want. Yes, yeah, yeah. Whomever. Whom. Yes. Yeah. Whomever. 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 That, refers, that refers to human beings. No, no, no a dog it doesn't. Is not a, 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 a whom is anything? Who? Who's that? No. It's a dog. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. What, where does it say that? I mean, okay. So you're not using English properly. You're, you're, so, so without an animal's ability to understand and. How do you know uh, they don't have an ability to understand? Have you asked one? Uh, we have you spoken have to a dog and has it said it doesn't yes, understand I you? I've, I've, I've spoken to a dog. And, and, and how do you know he doesn't understand you? Because... Maybe you just don't understand the dog. Yeah, because... Absolutely, but what you're, you're right. doing, you the dog. What you're doing is asserting that the dog can... Uh, you're asserting that he can't. No, I'm saying... Maybe, okay, fine. Taking your position, uh, maybe we don't know if the dog can consent What about not, goats? Right? We don't know if goats Because goats have a, a more limited vocabulary. So if we don't know, then how can we allow people to do it? If we don't know whether they can consent, how can we allow it? So let me ask you this. Are you equating bestiality with homosexuality? Is that true? I'm not equating anything. I'm saying if you have a sexual preference, should you not be able to identify with that humans, sexual preference? Humans should. Oh, why only humans? Why do you limit it to humans? Uh, put their... Um... I see a Trump flag. I yes. We saw you all the way from the edge of All right. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? We're over here trolling them about bestiality. Right okay. They don't realize it's true. Buddy, what's going on, brother? Hey, I had a couple of hey. grass cups right there. I couldn't use my megaphone while they were speaking. Oh, bull like, crap. Why, why can't I? When we had our last like, rally up here. Like, go ahead. Yeah, I'm going ahead. You can't tell me I can't. Yeah, heck no. And I'll tell you what. If we start using our if we start using our megaphones and they give me a hard time, I'm going off and there's going to be a lawsuit. Because remember when we had our rally? Almost parked. That got me triggered. Yeah, I, I couldn't <laughs> no, but when we had our last rally up here, we, we could barely okay, hear okay, us because well, of all the noise. So don't tell me I can't use a megaphone. Whenever I don't have cuffs, so, I always watch that where's, video. Where's Chris at? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is my son? Why does he keep... I guess he's okay. Oh, there he is. He's changing his sign. Okay. He. My son's got a whole bunch of uh, trolling... Cool. signs just to trigger them and I'm glad so, you guys are carrying but I'm kind of sad I'm the only woman carrying so. oh, what? come on now these are my guns <laughs> I can give you my pocket pistol you guys <laughs> no, I'm good, I'm good. what's your pocket pistol Derringer it's a 380 LCP nice yeah not bad my dad has an over under Derringer and I shot the thing for the first time I'm like why the fuck do you have this gun that's what the why? Are about. my company carry the, the, the 380 yep that's, that's my so backup like, it's right in my pocket oh me I'm you don't have now that you hey, had before hey, Trump was president. Oh, jeez. You're welcome for large. Hey, Chris, Chris, let me see. <laughs> you should. Hey, wait, wait till you see his other signs. Who has a mic? He's got. I've got a mic. Hello. Well, hey, what's going on with you? Hi. Good to see you. You know, someday I'm gonna join the Space Force. Yeah. <laughs> those, those, will, those will be my days in those. Yeah. What's with the hangar over there? I don't understand that there. No uh, freaking idea. Oh, you trying to put on clothes for like a newborn life child? Is that like a reference for abortion? <laughs> I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow my son around because I want to make sure that he doesn't get. Well, he, he's, he's just trying to intentionally to trigger them, but I want to make sure he's safe. Okay. I don't want him going by himself. I gotta go find him now. Oh, there he is. There he is. This is not about equality. This is about superiority. You look familiar. We've worn the for equality like this. You I just want to make sure I, I have eyes on you at all times.
happen. Take your mask and get out of the room where it belongs. Get viva Mexico and viva los migrantes! Hey, you're in the United States, by the way. This is the United States. Yeah, Mexico's a little further south. All languages, the United States, the melting pot of the world. This is not Mexico, sir. No, it's not. It's the United it's States. It's the United States, and she's talking about humanity. Viva Mexico. No, immigrants. The she United States. Viva she immigrants. said Viva Mexico, no, sir. Said Viva it's immigrants. English. It's says Spanish. Oh, yeah. Viva means long live. Mexico means Mexico, sir. Mexico means, means Mexico. Yeah, Mexico doesn't mean immigrants. It means Mexico. It said immigrantes. And she also said, Viva Mexico, sir. I know your selective hearing is rough, but I'm here to correct the record. All right, we've got the chants going. We've got the chants going. I woke up today so that I could hear liberal chants. That's about the only thing they're good for is rhyming. We Americans can actually cheer for Mexico if we want to, and we can cheer for Israel if we want to also. You sure can. You sure can, absolutely. That's why I'm not telling them. Did I silence? Did I try to silence them? Did I try to silence them? You need to tell that guy there that this is America, this is not Israel. This is America. You were to be consistent. You tell that guy there. I've already told him it's it. Yeah. Support Mexico. But when you say long live Mexico, that's where things. Yeah. When you when you say that Mexico is a superior country, when you say that Mexico is a superior country, I have issues. Uh, then you need to listen to everything they say, okay? Yeah, well, well, then listen to the whole conversation. Yeah, yeah. Try to try to listen to the whole thing. Aww. Hey, how's you doing? Oh. All right. The uh, the police have shown up to divide. I don't, we're we're not we're not dangerous here. We're not. Uh, but the police have the police are separating us with bikes. So. We're proud that you're a Mexican woman too, ma'am. We're proud that you're a Mexican woman. Thank you for being here. Thank you for expressing your freedom here in America. Just push the button. This side works for the USA, not Mexico. USA! We live in the USA. We are from the US. We are Americans. And over there, <laughs> Make sure the volume's up on this. Let's see. Make sure the volume's up on this. Oh shoot! Sorry. Sorry about that. Hi there. Thank you. I was trying to fix my volume and I lost control of my flag. Sorry. Why? There is nothing more degenerate than a mother wanting to kill her own children. There is nothing worse than a mother wanting to kill her own children. There is nothing more disgusting than a woman trying to kill her own children. There is nothing more disgusting than a society that supports killing and murdering its own children. Real women don't murder their children. Amen. Oh, hey, Todd. When a man is I just noticed you. How you doing? Good, sir. Good. When a woman doesn't, she can legally kill it. How is that equal? All right, let me go find my son now. I lost him again. We're about to get a ruling from the preservation board about the sound amplification devices, so I just wanted you to be aware. Okay, now, Todd, do you remember when we had our rally here last time? I know. And all that noise that we Thanks. couldn't even be heard up on the stage. Did you guys go and get a ruling last time? Hold on, hold on. 
Why didn't y'all go get a ruling when the conservatives were being shouted out, but now the conservatives are here making noise, suddenly you want a ruling from the preservation board? The rules change constantly. Well, depending on if it's a liberal or a conservative no, issue? No, it's certain items get prohibited, and we're learning as, as each different rally. Occurs. Funny how you guys learn when we're the ones I'm doing it. I'm letting you know that okay. the preservation board's on the I'm going to ignore the preservation board ruling regardless of what it says, and if you guys want to arrest me, then I will sue for because of the fact that we're being prejudiced against. Because we have a right to do exactly what they have a right to do. I'm just letting you know. Okay, I, I am ready to go to jail then. I'm ready. Never said anything about that. Okay. I just wanted to let you know the preservation board is. I I, I get it, and you know where I come from. I I I I I, I, I understand you. Not right now. Okay. He's saying he just said that we can't use a megaphone. We're not Antifa, so we're not allowed to use a megaphone. But we're gonna keep using a megaphone anyway. One years in two different countries for these rights, and by golly, no one's going to take them away from me. The song of hypocrisy. Oh, oh I thought they were singing something else. God bless America. Thank you for singing that. All right, where'd my son go? Now I gotta find him. We got an Iraq veteran here. Thank you. Yeah. You and him just now. Thank you. I didn't catch it at the very yeah, beginning. So yeah. I recorded it on my phone rather than on Facebook. I've got it here on my uh, YouTube live as well of them trying to tell us that. I didn't catch the beginning. So, of well, they said they said they're seeking a ruling from. These guys here are seeking a ruling about sound amplification devices because conservatives are here using them. But they didn't come up to us saying, hey, by the way, CJ, at your last rally, while we were there, not one of these people said, hey, we're going to seek a ruling about sound amplification devices while the libtards were over here doing it. So y'all can kiss my ass because if you arrest me and tell me I can't use my sound amplification devices while you did absolutely nothing when Antifa was doing it, I'll see you in court. Anyone that arrests me, I will see you in court. You have been warned. You have done nothing when Antifa does this to conservatives, and now you want to shut us down? It's not happening. We are the people. We have rights just as much as those Antifa nutcases, just as much as these women trying to murder their children. walk away. Let me find my son real quick. I want to know when that roll is going back. I want to see it in writing. Yeah. I'll tell you, you better show me something in writing if you're going to turn off my megaphone. And I still won't turn it off. Jen, so Jen, you you organized the last Trump rally that we had up here. It was uh, what was it? it was the uh, March for Trump? Two. March for Trump too. Now, when we came up here, we did the uh, March against far left violence. So tell me about the last time we had a rally. Up here. There was a bunch of conservatives for the Trump. Last time we had a rally up here. The 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 left came out to protest us with their pots and their pans and their megaphones, trying to yell over us, and they were surrounding all. And the they weren't just talking yeah. either. What were they doing through their megaphones? They were and playing sirens and all kinds of noise and all that. That's right.
using prohibited items that they said are not allowed. Yes. Here, but they denied me a use of a walking stick, which I legitimately need. I have plantar fasciitis in my left foot. That's an, a, that's an a, AMA violation. You know, the first thing I did was call ADA and let them know, and I actually got a letter, and they said that there was nothing they could do about it. Yeah. I, I tried to text I tried texting with disability too. Oh, that's all it's all it's all all because it's inconvenient to have you in my I would also like to point out that when I came on here with my plastic straw DPS that meets your regulations about poles, I proved that it was legal. I see a more than 12 inch item up there that looks like a hanger and no one has done anything about taking that and trying to enforce your rules against them. Is it because they're liberals? Is it because there's a separate set of rules for liberals and conservatives? Why is she able to carry her pole and I have to use a giant tube to put a flag on? It's because DPS at Region 7 doesn't equally enforce its own rules. So the next time I come here with a flag, I've got pictures right now of DPS not doing anything about these poles with a hanger. So I expect you to not enforce me carrying the American flag that I fought under. I hope I'm understood. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have brought, we were trying to figure out how to do that. I'm going to do that. Are y'all going to do any demonstrations of murdering babies today? Will there be any uh, live demonstrations of baby murders today? Anyone? There is nothing more despicable than a woman who would murder her child. Nothing more despicable than a society that will kill its children. That's a racist name. You can't say white. Being a whitehead is racist. Why are you angry at Your hands are at each other's It's a serpent vagina. I think it means that she has diseases and will will bite you if you enter. I thought it was a salad. Break up your mind. <laughs> well, in Austin, it's a fruit salad. <laughs> All right, I'm going to walk around here and see. Um, you want to go for a short walk? I just don't want to go alone. I'm sure there are people here targeting me. Not that I couldn't handle myself, but you could see something coming from behind. I can protect you. And oh, no, no, I'm not going anywhere else. I believe the way back from fear is empathy. When you can hear a person's story and empathize with their feelings, it becomes harder to hear them and to dehumanize them. It becomes harder to treat them as an object to be pushed out of sight or a monster to be hunted and contained. How's it going? I'm trying to find my son is what I'm looking for. Yeah, they are.
DPS follows me everywhere I go. Oh, there you are. Checking up? Yeah, I was just looking for you. Okay. Just talking to some people. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Viva la communista. listening to stories from both sides of the abortion access argument. What I saw is the power of those stories to impact people on a deeper level, and how those stories had the power to transcend fear and help people open their eyes to love and understanding of another human being. I saw the power those stories had to rapidly forge bonds between activists who'd never met before in their lives. I witnessed the power stories have to change the world and the power of showing up and taking up space. The legislation we battled that summer may have been rammed through despite our best efforts, but I'm pleased to say that those laws were recently overturned in the Supreme Court. They talk about love versus hate and they got a chinga to muro. There's nothing but hate here. Right. Everything here is hate. What's that? Mean Chinga means like fuck. Uh, yeah. Basically, fuck your wall is what it is what it means. I see a community who's found strength to come together during one of the most divided times in our country in recent memory. I look out across this crowd and I remember the power of showing up, the power of taking up space, and the power of simply standing your ground and speaking your mind. We have the power to show up at any time, and I think that is the thing those who abuse power fear the most. Never Woo! forget that. He said sucking. To be divided and turned against each other over our differences. <laughs> uh, please don't talk to me. Please don't talk to me. Thank you. Please don't talk to me. Thank you. Which one? So if you hear something today that makes you uncomfortable, remember that it only means yes. that you are learning and pulling That's yourself not. back. Yeah, okay. You're, hey, we're in a we're in a public place. Absolutely, yeah. You are pulling so, back. So take as many photos as you want. To reclaim the potential Turn towards you and your country. Oh. Fear can only tear us apart and hold us back. Knowledge can tear us free from the funeral shroud and resurrect our country. Hi. You want a hug? A hug to go with a kiss? Okay. I don't know, I think I was just sexually harassed. She just blew kisses at me. Reproductive coercion and torture. Yeah. I know firsthand the power that fear has to cripple us and hold us back from realizing our full potential. I bet those unborn babies are afraid of dying too. I've been battling that fear for 
for most of my life growing hey, up. You can ask what brand are your glasses? Because I gotta get myself a pair. Go Vision Pro. Go Vision. Yep. I know what it is like to need to hide in plain sight and to fear detection. It breaks my heart that LGBTQ and migrant and refugee children are still still experiencing. Yeah, I use my microphone. And it is my first Yeah. That's so I can be heard. Yep. It is windy today. I was just called an asshole. What's that? <laughs> boys are boys. That's why they boys. And girls are girls. Go figure. And you know what? That's all there is, is boys and girls. Today's program that you can identify with and perhaps even learn I something. I bet this whole new. place will freaking flip out. Just remember, those unborn children won't be able to identify at all. No, I'm not going to shut up. No, if this is a free country. Please don't touch me. Thank you. I'm on your side. Oh, well, okay, then you can touch me then. She's been on the front lines of the migrant I know I'm female, not supposed to be sorry. <laughs> My husband didn't tell me. We just become who touches us around here. Get violated. I'm not even, I'm not even 5% as obnoxious as when we have a conservative rally here because you can barely hear what our speakers are saying. And yet women like this, yeah, because you, because you don't believe in free speech, ma'am. You don't believe in free speech. Yeah, and you just admitted it. You just admitted you don't believe in free speech. Yeah, I do believe in free speech, absolutely. We do believe in free speech. We don't hear you. Well, then go home. I'm not at your house. If you don't want to hear me, your home is probably a few miles away. Oh, this this is great. You want to do it? You want to sing a song, too? You did a little dance, now do a little song. There's nothing more despicable than a woman that would kill her children. Oh, there's a baby murderer right over there. She wants to kill her children. This is my first time in Austin. I love it. How are you? How are you? Are you alive? You're not Bernie, are you? It is the weekend, but we're not at your house, are we? Can I help you? I mean, do you need help? Can I call a doctor for you? I Do I need a doctor for what? Cut off your balls. To cut off my balls? Wow, you that's violence. I thought you didn't like violence. I never said what I stood for. Oh, so you do like violence. So you support gun control or gun rights? Which one do you support? What kind of violence is okay for you? Excuse me, get off of me. Touch me. I will defend myself, so don't touch me. I believe in equality, so I will treat you like a man, even if you're a woman. If she touches me, I will push her off of me. I want y'all to know that. It will be defense. They were our gente. They were our people. Just want to make sure that if she does touch me, these are the guys that will do something or nothing. I'll stand next to you. I can put my Trump flag over your head there so you can look good. There you go. Got you right back where I want you. Now I can go back to my original spot. Armed with tear gas. And worst of all, detention centers were put for babies, for mothers, for fathers. I don't care how close you get, just don't touch me like you did last time. And mothers and fathers. It'd be nicer if you took a shower, but I don't care if you don't touch me. You can get as close as you want. I know I'm sexy. Hi there. Proud socialist feminist, huh? Oh, you believe in total failure. That, you know, you go all in for failure. You don't just like tiptoe around it. She's a socialist feminist. The yeah. <laughs> conditions are of a nightmare. Today I am here to let the, the Trump administration and the world know that the RGB does not stand with the wall or policies 
that have been put in place as we stand by our immigrant brothers and sisters. Thank you. Trump don't care. Trump don't care. All right, let me go find my, oh, there he is, okay. Trump is still your president. Trump is still your president. Lead organizer at National Program Center for Immigrant Justice Now, which you may know as Families Belong Together. We need sovereignty. We need sovereignty. She has been involved in social activism off and on throughout her lifetime. You can take all you want. I'm in public. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm in public, so. I have three daughters, and they make me look liberal, and I ain't liberal. <laughs> and and my one daughter's got a website going up called, and I named it, thebitchesright.com. Nice. Uh, and, and you know, did you hear that guy? Say it again for my audience here. Okay. Thebitchesright.com. And it's by your daughter's made that, right? My, my daughter's made that, yes. Okay. okay. Awesome. Website? Are you his daughter? I'm the youngest. I'm youngest? 15. Okay. All right. Well, I'll keep you off camera then, unless... Women and children. Wait, the flag's in the guy's... There you go. Oh. Yeah, speak force. Well, thank y'all for being here. Do I have one? No, I don't. I'm, I'm just here on my own. Uh, well, cjgrisham.com. I will. Actually, I've got a card, but it's not who I'm. demonstration on the Capitol. We're visiting from Florida. Oh, sorry. So, you know what I'm saying? We're here on a vacation for the week. She said to me, Daddy, there's a rally. I want to go to be on the Trumps. Nice. Well, there's a few of us. But we're on vacation. There's a lot more Trump people. Over. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway, God bless you. All right, God bless you too. Take care of yourself. You can. You can say that to me. Hi, everybody. Hi there. Hey, I'm a reporter with USA Today Network. Do you mind if I feel a little bit? Sure. You're with who? USA Today. Okay. I'm a real guy. <laughs> I love the cat, man. At least you got a nice cat. I got a well, I don't know. I'm an Aggie, so uh, well, anyway, that's all right. You and I won't hold it against you. you and them can get yes. Along. Yes. <laughs> all right. So you're here. You got a, your big old Trump sign. You got your uh, iPhone going on. What's, what's, what's your message to count? Well, my message is that I do not condone or support the murder of unborn children. Okay. And so I'm here to, 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 to I'm here for the voices that cannot be here because these women want to kill them. Aiming to undo 10,000 years of recorded history. Can I get your name? C.J. Grisham. C. J. Grisham, like the author. Grisham. Grisham, yes, sir. Are you from Austin? I'm from Temple, Texas. Temple, Texas. Yes, sir. I was stationed on Fort Hood a million years That's ago. where I retired out of. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you for yours. You probably had a rougher time than me. <laughs> I just retired three years ago. So. Army. Army. Yep. What did you do? I was counterintel agent. Oh. I was in MI. Oh, you were in MI too? What? Yeah. Well, I started out as a 98 Golf yeah. uh, signal intel, and then I moved into counterintel. Well, that's kind of cool. Yep. I was back in the Army in the 70s where we were all... Oh, you didn't have all the different... Yeah. Yep. That was a great time to be in the Army. <laughs> I'll tell you, the last 13 years have just sucked. It's been... They have been hell. I know. It, yeah. Would you do 20? I did 21, yeah. And I, I just... I would have done 30. I wanted to do 30. And um, it just got to the point where I, I, I didn't feel like I could serve it any longer. Yeah, I can understand that. What were you, E8? E8, first sergeant, yep. I look can spot a first sergeant. <laughs> 30 years later. <laughs> shit, almost 40 years later. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, there's two main things that bother me about this event. I read an article recently about how our population is not... We're not having enough babies to replenish the population. But yet we're killing millions through abortion. Again. I was curious. That right there would make around, up the difference. I began to see the second of thing is that, that if a father decides he doesn't want the I child, he's called a dead dude. He's called a piece of shit. And he's, in he's, he's just treated so awful in society. Gathered. But when a woman in doesn't Washington, want the child, DC, she's hailed as a hero for making a good choice. Yeah, exactly. Kills the child. Yeah. A man doesn't want it, he's a deadbeat. A woman doesn't want it, and she can kill it and get praised for it. Do you mind if I take your name? Jeremy Brooks. Very good point. J E R M E Y. J E R E M Y. E M Y. And what was I saying? Brooks. Are that you a better so too? Yes, sir. We could no longer move. I was E5. I'm okay with that. Fuck this. We're just going to.
going to march right to the Capitol anyway. All right, boys. Hey, take care, sir. I came back, and I still felt a little lost, though. This was a great experience. It was a wonderful thing, and it was nice to see that I was not alone. Uh, he had some good. He had some good comments. I'm okay with other people taking my interviews. I didn't come here to be interviewed. Someone said he took your interview. I'm like, yeah, hey, he's got some good things to say. I started paying attention to the ways in which we talk each other down. That's the ways in which men talk to women. Pro choice stuff is that. Well, how come a man doesn't want the child? Yeah. But see, here's the thing: is I think men need to suck it up, take care of the kids, and I think women need to have their babies. Yeah. I think they're both responsible, and it's not the child's fault. Loud. Be quiet. Don't talk. Don't take up space if you're a woman. If you're a woman of color, especially don't take up space. Fake news. Your stories and your feelings are not real. That didn't happen to you. That slight, that attack, that growth that somebody bragged about never really happened. It's all in your imagination. Despite my disbelief and my paying attention, I realized um, okay, where did Chris go? Responding to the situation. Dang it, Chris needs to tell me when he runs off. Okay, he probably went back over to the other group. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna head over there. Yeah, he was just here. I'm actually really surprised that there aren't more. Women threw themselves in front of buses. You weren't expecting watching him. Yeah. They know who I am. So they know I'm not a threat. Yeah. And those women wouldn't be there had you aborted them. Thank goodness those women were not aborted so that they could make and get office and get elected. Women got together and said, not in my name, and never again will I be small or silent. Except when they're in the womb. Then they're so small they don't value enough to live. Apparently they're too small when they're in the womb. You mean through abortion? Ripped and torn from their mothers by abortion doctors? Is that what you're complaining about? I sure hope so. And it's hypocritical to whine about children being ripped from their mothers on the borders while they're being ripped from their mothers with coat hangers in an abortion clinic. This is not okay. This is not to be done. This is not Perhaps if we called separating women and children at the border abortion, you would support it. <laughs> Huh? I said perhaps if we just called it, if we called separating women and children at the border abortion, they would support it. I don't adore, enjoy children being tortured. That's why I oppose abortion. That's uh, actually killing someone is torturous. Yes, ma'am. I worked with tragic children. I've seen a hundred yard stare on a two year old. And those liberal policies are the reason why those children are dying. And not one person here gives a shit for a half a second about any of those kids they pretend to. They just want to wear a stupid pink hat so they can look like they're actually doing something. And not one of you fuckers give a shit about those Oh, look, they want 
the electoral college to go. Why don't y'all give a shit about oh, that? Man. Oh, I can care less about college. Good job. Amen. This woman over here wants to destroy the Constitution, says that uh, Fox News, the Electoral College, must go. If abortions were performed with firearms, would you start caring? Maybe if we aborted children with handguns, the liberals would actually start caring about their deaths. The pledge is meant to hold people accountable, to say that it is not okay to treat people in the I know. How, how ironic. How ironic that people that are trying to push for the killing of unborn children are talking about humanity. The irony and the hypocrisy is astounding. I noticed all of you that enjoy killing babies weren't aborted. You're all living. Go figure. <laughs> now they're going to get you. All right, where is Chris? I gotta go find my son again. She was How's it going? Thank you, sir. I got you in Florida, man. Cool. Thanks. You visiting? You're here on vacation or what? I'm making a lot of money here, dude. But women just love money, right? Yeah, yeah. Man, I support Trump, man. Good. I think a lot of people do. We just got to get more vocal about it. I mean, like, I mean, I don't support everything he does. I mean, politics is puppets, dog. It's been going on that way for over a hundred years, yep. man. But you got to be like, you got to support yourself. Man. Yeah. I support Trump when he does the right thing, and I'll oppose him when he does the wrong thing. Exactly. Come with us to go trigger the Antifa leader. Yeah, where? She's over here. She's been trolling. Where at? Yeah, let's go. I need to find my son anyway. He's got signs somewhere. She's, a, she's, a, she's been, she, she showed up on December 9th at AR 15 to attack us when we were protesting. Kate. I'll follow you. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, really? He does that. He, wor he runs off like really fast. He went this way. Right there. Uh, to your left. Straight ahead. Our schools are failing our children. We're breeding idiots and morons with swastikas. This is a great country. It has always been a great country. We don't need to make America great again. It already is. What's that? Did you see the big scary I did. I did. Yeah. Right there. Just right there. There's three of them right there. Let's go get their pictures. I, I just did. I got their signs and everything. How do you know that lady, Go, go look at their signs. That lady just tried to tell me and, and Jeremy that 
a man controls his ejaculation, so if he has sex with a woman, it's his fault she got pregnant totally. They drive us into the offices of our representatives to say no more. There he is, okay. You good? Hey, if you if you if you walk away somewhere, just just let me know, hey dad, I'm walking this way or that way. Because I just want to make sure you're protected and watched after. What's that? To the fabric of our society. They take care of our children. That's a good idea. Is that like made of clapboard? It is. Oh, it's a really tube. Lightweight. You can hold on to it. And it meets the the rules that they set up for what you can carry on a pole. Because it's not it's not wood, plastic, or metal. That makes sense. It's a giant paper straw. Uh, he makes them. Really? Yep. So. Pretty cool. That's a great idea. Thank you. Oh, Big, what's going on, Lieutenant Big? CJ, Grisham, you remember me, right? Okay. Good and good. Good to see you again. Well, Trump's endorsing Israel, to be exact. He's been best supporting the president supporting him in quite a while. I would debate that very much so. What's that? That Trump supports Israel? There's a debate that he supports Israel? Apparently so. Uh -huh. I know debate he does. He supported Israel. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay. But Israel's values are not the same as Trump's values. Well, I would I would say that my values aren't the same as Trump's values. What why do why do the values have to be exactly the same? Because which which values because carrying a flag. Which values are you talking about? Oh, we could talk about LGBTQ. Okay, I think the the Jews and uh, Israel and uh, Trump are probably what, what's the LGBTQ thing? What's the problem with it? What, what are the values that are different there? Oh, I can tell you, you can be LGBTQ in Israel, they'll be thrown off a roof in any of the neighboring countries. So that's a different value there. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, okay, I'm, and I'm sure you can find there's no there's no country that's like America. Let's see. Trump has removed, said no transgender military. That's good. That's good. Okay. Trump has said that. Um, you realize why that is, right? I mean, you realize there's a purpose behind the transgender issue in the military. Hey, no, actually, you can't go to the military. I mean, there's a there's a purpose behind that. Do all transgender people serve on the front line? I, I'm saying anybody that want, that can serve on the front line can serve on the front lines, but front the front lines. No, no, no. The, exactly. The problem is the front lines. The front lines is one percent of the military. Yeah. So. So exactly. So no transgender. So military. so the problem is is that 99 percent of the time in the military, the transgender issue isn't conducive to military. No, the, the way that the military. Only one percent at a time, and I won't even concede. That. No, no. I would say that in times of war, I don't care who you are or what you look like. If you're going to be on the front lines and you can kill the enemy, you can kill the enemy. The problem is is that the military is not always. Now, granted, we're always in some war, but not 100 percent of the military is always fighting. And so exactly my point. I have I have friends who graduate up in a class in West Point serving in, in intel in cyber warfare. They can't be in the military. I, and I say, and there's a but, but there's a reason but there's a reason for that. Now I'm not I, I don't care if you're gay, trans, bi, Q, whatever letter you want to bring into it. I don't I don't really care. But just like I there are places where it's acceptable for me to be. There's, there are places where it's acceptable for transgender people to be. There's places where it's acceptable and not acceptable. You keep equating our military with front lines. And it's no, you are the only one that said front lines. You're the only one that has done that. I said that military service is incompatible with military service. If you are in the military, if you're a military person, no matter what category, you can't be. You can't be what? In the military, right? Yeah. And I'm you saying there's a reason for that. You can't be on cyber war. And there's a reason for that. Tell me why. No, if you have migraines, okay. you can't be in the military, right? Yeah, I know that. Because yeah, if, if a guy if a guy joins the military 
and then decides he wants to be a woman or, or a man who thinks he's a woman joins. Okay, I'm going to use my language. You use your language. Okay. If a man who thinks he's a woman joins the military, you you can call him transgender all you want. If if a man who thinks he's a woman joins the military, I as a first sergeant, how do I grade that person on physical fitness as a man or as a woman? Because he's got masculine and and male features and male physiology. Am I supposed to grade him as, as a male, a, as a woman or do I grade? So, so now, now gay people have it, or not gay, but I'm sorry, but now this man who thinks he's a woman in the military, who's being graded as a woman, is now far surpassing the women in that physical fitness category and will now be promoted ahead of everyone else because he has the muscular features, the skeletal features of a man competing against women. Do you believe in equal rights or not? I'm sorry, your ignorance is showing. When, when did you serve in the military? As a person. When did you serve? Okay, so I served 21 years, so I know exactly what I'm talking about. But, if you don't know but do you know what ignorance is? I do know about hormones. So what you, is what does estrogen do to do, do do hormones change muscular structures? Absolutely do. Absolutely do they? Do. So does it does it change the fact that you're a male? No, it adds feminine hormones to a masculine body is what it does. Because you realize I I am a man and I have estrogen in my body. It's just such small doses you i don't know if you're a man or a woman but if you're a woman women have small amounts of testosterone in their bodies as well so the the estrogen or the testosterone doesn't indicate whether or not you're a man or a woman it just means you have more or less of those hormones and depending upon which one is dominant that will control your muscles so when a trans man takes testosterone okay they're, they're bodybuilders so what does it do so what does estrogen do to a man's muscles then atrophy turns to fat so you want atrophy and fat in our military you want men with, with you want men with muscular atrophy Atrophy and fat in our military. Can women be in the military? Women can be in the military, and they have separate standards than men do. Exactly. Exactly. So that's the problem. The fact that we have separate standards is the problem. Now, here's where I would say you don't have an argument, or that I don't have an argument. I would say I don't have an argument if standards across the board in the military were the same for men and women, but they're not. And as long as the standards are the same. Because there's physiological differences. There are physiological differences. Thank you for admitting that. That's why transgender doesn't work in the military. Okay. Okay. So I can't serve. I can't serve in psyops. I can't serve in. You still have to do the exact same physical standards. Psyop soldier as an infantry soldier. And you know what? You're missing some of the brightest people. You're missing some of the brightest people. You, yeah. Maybe that might be the case. Well, that's the fact. But but I think that there are plenty of bright people in there, and there are plenty of there there, there are plenty of dumb transgender people, and there are plenty of dumb non-transgender people, and there are plenty of smart transgender people, and there are plenty of smart non-transgender people, and so I don't need to bend I don't need to bend to mental illness in order to allow those few people. If you are a man who thinks he's a woman, there's something wrong with your head. Says who? Says you or says me? Says, says, says me. Says me. Okay. Yeah, says opinion. me. That's not yeah. medical opinion. Yeah, it's, my medical, op it's my medical opinion. opinion. And it actually, there is a, there is research out there that those who think that are, that are not only gay but transgender have mental health problems. So, yes, there is doctor. They're, they're all reputable. So who's the reputable doctors then? So you get to pick and choose who's reputable now. So what makes a doctor reputable versus not reputable? Is it the, the reputable ones are the ones that support transgender and the not reputable ones are the ones that go against it? The ones that have a political agenda. So the ones that, are, that don't agree with your opinion are the ones that aren't reputable. I think they're all reputable. The problem is they don't all agree with me and they don't all agree with you, but you don't want to admit that. Okay, okay. So let's talk about Trump's second thing, okay? All right. Hate crimes, okay? There was a There's no such thing as hate crimes. Hate crimes is an oxymoron. Crime itself is a hate crime. Okay. There was a bipartisan bill passed, okay, so that hate crimes due to a person's gender identity, religion, um, race, okay, could be prosecuted as a hate crime, which has much higher... Um, oh, so you don't think transgender should be equal? You don't believe in equal rights? I do. Well, no, you don't. You just said you want hate crimes. If someone... If I rob her... That's one thing, but if I rob you, it's different because you're transgender. So you want special treatment. So you don't believe in equality. 
the Trump administration and the evangelicals and his base has basically said that this bipartisan bill outlawing hate laws doesn't apply to LGBT. It shouldn't apply to anybody. There's no such thing as hate crime. Crime is a crime. If I rob somebody, isn't that a hate crime? Don't I hate their freedom and their liberty and their right to their property? What does it matter if I rob you because you've got money or I rob you because you're gay? I robbed you. The crime is that I robbed you. There is a big difference. No, there's not a difference. A crime is a crime. Well, then Should we not all be treated equally? Officers over there, if there's a difference, okay? Well, government believes there's a difference. Because government wants us to be divided in that. Government wants us to treat women differently from men. Government wants us to treat cops differently from non-cops. I won. Hey, I just glad I outlasted you. That's what happened to one I was having a conversation with over there. She got tired of talking. I can't deal with anyone who You just can't deal with common sense. With rationality. It's 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 called rational, being rational. It's called logic. A a crime is a crime. Why do you want special treatment? Just because you are in some special category, why is it that if why is it if this someone robs me, why is it any less? There should not be a carve out. That's my point. So so you're gonna so do you care about those carve outs or not? I sure do. Then stop fighting for more carve outs. LGBT is not equal. That's the whole point. Everyone is equal. The problem is the law makes us unequal. So let's get back to an equality of law where nobody is treated different. Cops aren't treated different. So I'm not treated different. The, Gay people bill, aren't. You're against the bill, okay, that carves out, right? I am against any bill that puts a different uh, punishment on a person based on who they are for the exact same crime. If I get robbed and you get robbed, if under, under what you want, the person that robbed you would get a bigger sentence than the person that robbed me, and that's wrong. Just get black because it's a racial crime. It does, if they get robbed because they're black, they still got robbed. The crime is they got robbed, not that they're black. They got murdered. It doesn't matter why they got murdered. They got murdered. The crime is the murder. So why is it any different if they because murder a black targeted. man? Because if you're targeted because the color of your skin, okay. it's still murder. It doesn't matter the reason. The reason doesn't matter. Murder is murder. The person is still dead. The person is still robbed. The person is still raped. The person still got stuff stolen from them. It doesn't matter if they're black, gay, woman. They still had a crime committed so against why them. Is there a bipartisan bill? There shouldn't be because we have government who wants to divide us. Look, government wants, listen, government wants us divided so they can stay in power because how do they stay in power? Because they pass laws. How do they pass laws? Because people demand. He's the head of the government. He is the, well, because I support his policies. Oh, well, his policies are actually discriminating, okay? okay? And I don't support discriminating policy. So what policy is discriminating? The only policy that you told me that is discriminating is a policy that he doesn't support that would actually discriminate, which is to make hate crimes for LGBT people. It's not, no, it's not to make hate crimes. It's that everyone is treated equally under the law. But they're not treated equally under the law. No. The bill actually says if you rape someone, if you, if you um, rob somebody, you're treated equally under the law. But the carve out is not yeah. if you're LGBT. Once you say, but see, there should, no, no, and you're wrong because if it's a black person, there is a carve out. If it's a woman, there is a carve out. If it's a cop or a government official, there is a carve out. So the government has already decided which lives are more important than other lives, and you want to continue and add another sector of society that would make one segment of society more important than another segment of society. No, I don't know. I didn't pass the bill. I just don't want to. No, but you want out. the bill. No, I don't care about the bill. I just care about a carve out. There is no specific carve out. The problem is that LGBTQ is not included in the bill. Because when it was originally passed, and now there's, some, there's pressure. Did Trump veto it? Did Trump veto it? He's discussing it. But did Trump veto it? So Trump hasn't had anything to do with this yet. Look, Trump doesn't control all the laws. It's the legislator, okay? He's only one part of the government. There's three equal branches. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, there's four branches, apparently. Oh, look, I didn't say that. Uh, no, no, I said Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said that. 
I'm just, I'm not sure who to believe anymore about how many branches of government there are, but I just look at the Constitution. But you were well, right. You look at the Constitution. I'm being facetious. I, I'm being facetious, just so you know. Yes, there's three branches of government, unless you're Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, then there's four. Or if you're Obama, there's 57 states, too, by the way. Yep. Yeah, so. Yeah. And was he born so, in the U.S.? So, so let me ask was you. Was Obama born in the U.S.? He was born in Hawaii, yeah. Yeah, that's the U.S. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, that's not what the president believes. No, the Trump Trump didn't say that. He wanted to see the birth certificate. Yeah, and he did. And he didn't accept and, and, and do you see it anymore? He still supports the birth of movement. How? How? How he's been he's been president for two years. How has he supported the you birther movement? Heard him bring that up again? I haven't heard him bring it up once. So when has he I done have, that? I have. He hasn't. Well, go look through the. Okay. Go look through the All right. You'll see it. I, it's got to be kind of hard to find something that doesn't exist. It's much easier for you to find something that does exist. So I haven't heard that in any political. The, the government should not be dictating. I should not pay any more or less taxes than a single person. Here's one for you. Do you know that marriage licenses are racist? They were literally put in place to keep black and white people from marrying. They were about controlling people, not about giving them freedom. Well, that may have been the past, but that's not today. Well, we have continued with the exact same policy, so it doesn't have to get rid of the policy and rebuild it from scratch. Hey, let me, and let me also, I'm going to go, thank you for sticking with me and disagreeing with me and doing so. And we haven't even touched on a whole bunch of But thank you for doing so in a very... Uh, cordial and respectful way. We didn't devolve de devolve into calling each other names. No, no, I'm we just we my way. and I'm and my unfortunately, way. there are a lot of people around here who have come and spoken to me. On both sides. Yeah, I'm I'm I support Trump, but I'm not a party person. If there is a liberal that believes in freedom, first of all, let me see him. I will support that person. I am an independent, free thinking man. I pay taxes. Why? Because uh, because if I don't, people will, these guys will come and arrest me and throw me in jail. Okay, but you're supporting the government. And if I, I, I at the at the point of a gun, I'm not supporting the government. I'm doing what it takes not to be shot and killed in my own home. You wouldn't be shot and killed. Yes, I would because if they come into my house because I haven't paid taxes, there's going to be a firefight and I'm going to be shot and killed. So that's why I pay taxes so that I don't have to worry about shooting somebody. No, you have to pay taxes because because it's a legislative law. That's why. Be because the government uses force to take my taxes. That's that's why I pay taxes. Put it this way: How does the government enforce laws? You really open my mouth. What? Yeah. Hey, take care. Be good. That was a good. You know, we were able to discuss things. Oh, there's Antifa over here. Right over here, Antifa. Right there, straight ahead. Look at their signs. Don't run away, skinny jeans. Come on. Y'all were like big badass communists and stuff. I just want to take your picture. Surely you guys want your message to be seen, right? I mean, otherwise, why bring communist symbols? Communists were great lovers of women, weren't they? Boy, they really subjugated their women. I bet the the women's march people are glad to have y'all here. Do y'all support these communists? You do? Wow. They, they. Let me guess, Trump. Let me guess, Trump. You don't support Trump. Nailed it. Sorry about that. Oh, communism. Oh, great. We got some communist people over here. So communists are some of the biggest abusers of women over here. How many women did uh, the communists kill? Just off the top of your head. So, I'm sorry, who are you? Are you a communist? Uh, turn around, look right there. Turn, are you able to read? I think most of those are single and double syllable words, so it should be pretty easy to see. Do you women around here support communism? Oh, they do. They just start cheering. Uh, excuse me, do you know what that hammer and sickle and star means? Okay, yeah, I, I didn't think so. Uh, if you went through just third grade history, you would know what that symbol is. It's a communist symbol. Hey, do you all support communist? Actually, they even said that they're communist. Excuse me? Yeah, it killed 100 million people, starved them to death. Do you support communism, ma'am? 
But do you support communism? But do you support communism? Yes or no? I know I know exactly what it is. I fought against communism. Yeah. My grandfather fought in World War II over Germany. He was a bombardier. Yeah, he taught me about communism. But anyway, Yes, but he taught me about communism. Germany was a Nazi. Yes, I get that. Yes, I am not worth your time. Go away. I am not worth your time. Go away. Yep. Yep. I am not worth your time. Please go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, communism. Communism is worth my time. Because communism will destroy this country. Communism has never, ever done anything good for society. Communism has never contributed anything to the world. Neither is socialism, by the way. If you guys are so proud of communism, why do you hide behind your masks over there? I mean, shouldn't you be proud of being a communist? They're harboring a snitch. Of course they're wearing masks. Oh. They're harboring a bunch of snitches. Don't you love communism? FBI the Women's March is glad to have communists here with them. And socialists. And anarchists. Yep. Look at all these Antifa nutcases. Just proof right now that our schools are failing the future. Antifa, proof that the gene pool has been corrupted. Vivi, my masur, please uh, let me see some bread. I'm oh, sorry, uh, was that the wrong accent? Where has socialism worked? Name one place socialism has worked. Where, it, as capitalism works right here in America, sir. Look where you are. Look at these tall buildings. All you have to do is turn around to see how great capitalism is. Look at those tall, tall buildings. Capitalism is the greatest thing in society right now. As a matter of fact, everything you have on you is thanks to capitalism. That poster that you bought, I guarantee you didn't cut down the tree and make that wood and then turn it into paper. I guarantee you didn't make your own boots. And I'm pretty sure you didn't make your own skinny jeans there, sir. They're a compilation to your balls. Oh, wait. We we <laughs> Thank goodness the women in your life don't have to worry about ever having an abortion because you will never impregnate them. Hey, does this guy realize that he's not a Mexican, he can't be a brown beret? Does, does he realize that? I'm kind of wondering. <laughs> Where has socialism ever worked? I'm, I'm still waiting on that. Where has socialism worked? I'm waiting. Which country has socialism ever worked in? He's a proud boy. Raise the literacy rate in Nigeria to eighty percent. Are you seriously hailing Nigeria as a success for cap for uh, socialism? Oh my gosh! Oh, it's almost like this guy just said Nigeria is why socialism is good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to know about socialism, just look to Nigeria. That's what this guy says. Nigeria is the pinnacle of socialist progress. Next. Are you guys going to wait till I turn around and like try and get me in the back because you're cowards? You know, you try and hit me in the head if I turn around? Is that, I mean, that's kind of the Antifa way, right? If you're not a friend to the revolution, you're an enemy. Oh. I don't want your revolution. But if you want to attack me, please do because I'm looking for a reason, sir. I've got a Napoleon complex. I'm short and looking for a fight. There are only like two or three buttons on that thing. Surely you guys can figure it out. The capitalist didn't teach her how to work that capitalist product. Oh, good, we get the chant. Yes, here we go. My day is complete. No KKK, no fascist USA. No Trump. No KKK, no fascist USA. No Trump. No KKK, no fascist USA. No Antifa USA. No KKK, no fascist USA. Who's the KKK? I don't know. Yes. 
I have wondered if I was going to hear this today. This is the great thing about Antifa is because they're so completely stupid, all they can do is repeat chants. There's not an original thought in their body. The same chant. So they chant the same thing over and over and over again. The same thing they've been chanting for three years. They can't even come up with original shit. I will agree. Let's get rid of the KKK. Absolutely. Get rid of the KKK. Get rid of the fascists in government. Absolutely. Amen. Did you know by purchasing that megaphone and all those signs? See, I told you they were Antifa. Yeah. You brought, you brought the Antifa out. Hey, your, your tiny megaphone matches your skinny jeans. <laughs> when you they want, they want men, women to punch other women. Did you see that sign? Women punch I would like Nazis. To thank you for that. And they they're, call me an They're the brown berets. <laughs> I don't want these. I don't think they're the real yeah, they are. <laughs> I know they're not the Look at their hats. They're not the real socialism. Look, that's fine. The best thing about communism is when we threw them out of helicopters. <laughs> Pinochet did nothing wrong. I got a man crush on Pinochet. And where are the Nazis? Where are the Nazis, ladies? Where are the Nazis? Where? I don't see it. I find it disappointing you couldn't get so much support for your beautiful chant. You guys have worked for years on that thing. Only to have it squandered. And you missed out, women. I dare you to call someone a Nazi and try to punch him. I dare you. Do it. Hey, if you ever find a real Nazi, let me know. I'll punch him with you. <laughs> but that's their excuse. They're I'm like, I'm hey, you Nazi. I'll punch Nazis and commies. They're all the same. Let's see if they can get louder than us. We <laughs> got one too. <laughs> yeah, we got we got plenty. <laughs> okay, y'all have been fun. This project will look for my deep dive training and support women of color from every corner of our state. I've spent the last few days reading applications for the Well, that was fun. We got them to do their little uh, Antifa chat for a few minutes. No, no Trump, no KKK, no fascist. Say. Oh, I was, I was the only one dancing. They don't really get into their own grooves. What's the, what's the time mark on your video? How far in are you? Uh, I am 127. Okay. Well, that way I can screenshot the time you're doing the, the Proud Boy symbol. Oh, okay. I got to get a screenshot of that. All right. <laughs> Good. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat. I can't really see very well. It is a bright day out here. And the answer that she gave was simple. And she said, "Well, I'm not going to Holy cow! I think the mummy was actually a documentary. Look at this. It was that I believed in lifting others up. Yep, peace. I believe it. I believe in peace. Importantly, I believe this question resulted in separating us rather than bringing us together. She went on to write, everyone has their own story, their own specific hardships or circumstances that they've endured that has shaped who they are. With each story comes devastating trials mixed with endless perseverance and resistance. I know this bores you guys out of your mind, so thank you for being here. If, 
I know you're doing your job, so I have no hate for you guys. Y'all are respecting my rights, and I appreciate that, so thank you. I hate baked cheese on Mexican food. <laughs> I hate that. I hate traffic. I hate traffic. I wish we had helicopter Ubers. I hate that we do not have that. A reminder, my sister is to embrace each other. Those are some of the things that she hates. Yes, I hate traffic. Oh, my God. I hate whenever you're in a car with someone on a road trip and they roll the windows up and then they just fart and nobody says anything. That's the worst. I hate whenever you order your food right the first time and then it comes out wrong. Awesome. Yes. So it's probably about the 120. So it's around the 120 mark, I guess. Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria is an example of the success of socialism. Oh my gosh. I do. Oh. Yeah. Does anyone else see the irony of a woman carrying a child who's pushing for everyone else to abort their own? What's that? Sign. I am the sign. Oh, is he? Oh, for sure. That's my sign. I see the second image. All right. Yeah, that's right. She's a junior at Austin High School, where she is a student in the Academy for Global Studies and is an active in band and theater. McCann is here representing the student the United Nations. Also known as C, and she is the sub. Sorry about that. I uh, looks like I froze up at a at a great time in the video too. That kind of sucks. So I'm gonna I want to show you guys something. I'm gonna uh, I control these women behind me. All I've got to do is talk, and I can make them shake their maracas. Watch. This is a test. You have passed. Including at home or with friends. If you support everything I say, shake your maracas. Yes! Yeah! He supports the Second if you support the Second Amendment, shake your maca. Yes! All right! If you're mentally disturbed. Oh, <laughs> oh it worked! Oh, yes! Yes! That is awesome! Wow. It's like Pavlov's dog, only it's a pussy. Cat. Cat. In promoting these behaviors and attitudes, school administrators remain complicit with the big culture. Oh goodness, that was good. That was good. Oh, I hit, I hit, I hit one of the comments of Donald Trump. <laughs> I guess I can take that back now. <laughs> Live streaming is such a pain in the ass. I need to get like a stick or something. Yeah, like a little yeah or, or something to put my phone on my uh yeah whoops sorry was that getting in your face it is only through four cases davis v monroe board of education and williams v board of regents of the university of georgia that the interpretation of the law has expanded the definition all right what are we going with next what are you going with next Help me what? Oh. <laughs> hey, put that one up and I'll walk next to you. Oh. In this context, fondly defined as the touching of the private body parts of another person for the purpose of We're not really blocked off. They just they've got they've got us separated from the main because they don't really want us uh, interacting with uh, their permitted event. So that's they're not really we're not really blocked off. I mean I can walk pretty much. Government and sexual harassment regarding students on the student as unwelcome sexual 
Oh, sorry, did I get you? Love that hat. I've got some, uh, I've got my own security detail here. They follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> oh, I gotta plug in my phone. Sorry about that. Yeah. Perhaps some trans women are women. Or women. Ask her why she has an organizer that got uh, Tifa. That what? That's with on one of her organizers is on Oh, okay. When they showed up with AR 15s to attack conservatives on December 9th, they were, they were attacking another woman. Because we were protesting that an illegal killed a woman, an innocent woman, and they came out with air 15 to attack us for doing that. That's hypocrisy at its finest. All right, Temple College. It's my alma mater. Lisa is the peer support specialist manager at the Safe Alliance in Austin, Texas. So when are you coming back to Austin? To What's that? When are you coming back to Austin? I come back every Tuesday. Oh, okay. She yeah. now shares her voice and personal story consulting I come, yeah, I've been, uh, I come every Tuesday when they're in session uh, to fight for gun rights and get some gun bills and stuff. Yeah. member of Surviving Voices Project ATS, as well as a mother, artist, Healer, friend, and lover. They have them in the morning, right? What's that? They have, they have a session in the morning, right? Well, they're not having any sessions yet. Right now, it's just a bill filing period. Oh, okay. So for the first for the first 60 days, all they do at the legislature is uh, file all the bills to control every aspect of our life. Oh, okay. How's it going? Life is good when you haven't been aborted. I am like really surprised at how few people are here. And congratulations, you weren't aborted. I want to see if these uh, if these guys follow me. Watch this. So, hang on. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass these guys and they're gonna follow me. Watch.
Here they come. Oh. See, they follow me everywhere I go. I've got my own security detail. It's kind of a good thing though, because with the Antifa here, I know that they're gonna, you know, they might try to come up from behind. I kind of, I kind of don't need, I kind of don't need people following me. I got my own detail apparently, of of DPS troopers. It's always I won't eat it if it gets faster. Yeah. I think it's gonna pop off after the week. I honestly do. I think it's gonna happen. I think one of them's gonna get bald like the big dude. Of your political correctness. Except for Cruise One. Tiny hands, huge. Oh, asshole. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna see what I'm just gonna go walk down to the uh Did you find your son? No no no. I'm just gonna walk down to the entrance and back. I found the further away you get, I think the more vocal they are. What's that? I can't believe that Antifa sent out all the girls. <laughs> <laughs> well, even but even if Antifa girl. sends the dudes, there's still a bunch of girls. Yeah. Now, 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 you're I was thinking gender. of a way to say that, but you beat me to it. <laughs> We're assuming gender here. John just laid All those chicks us. could have peckers, so. Who did? John Burleson. It's some guy's been pulling the fuck out of us on Facebook. He's, I mean, and I was like, I'm like, you're the first motherfuckers I'm going to come see at the rally. They go, <laughs> You better not get near me. I'll mace you and I'll oh, blow no, a whistle. I got pride. And that was the very first I thing it. I did. I, I saw him when I came up behind him. I go, no. I, I go, did hey, he pace you? Up? What's up? Hey, where, where's that, that private cop they hired? The security. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Cop. No, Do I have my security detail? No? He's actually Oh, okay. So I guess the, only, the security detail only follows me while I'm around people. I wanted to come out here. The reason I wanted to come out here, I'm just talking to my audience here. The reason I wanted to come out here is uh, this is supposedly the women's march, okay? Look how far, I mean, they're, I mean, they've got a good showing. Don't get me wrong. I, I'd say there's a, I don't know what, maybe a thousand people over there, 12, 1400, something like that. But that's nowhere near where they've been in the past. I mean, it used to be this entire place was packed with people i mean from practically from the gate all the way up to the to the steps up there and there is just not a big showing today and it's not it's a nice day it's a little windy but i mean i'm in a basically in a t-shirt just a long sleeve undergarment how's it going you doing all right i can't complain except that the wind is making uh, my left arm bicep harder than my right arm bicep. We don't just have to practice on the next 
Yeah, yeah. I just have to do one arm push ups on the other side, I guess. Well, take care. Be safe. <laughs> she, she, you heard that, right? She, Mr. Grisham. She, she, she even knows who I am, and I didn't even tell her. They know who I am down here. They know that. That's why you started, that, after you started that like movement, like is this when you got arrested in the other company. You were hiking with your son. Well that's why Todd didn't you know, when I told him like, look, I don't care what uh, the historical society says, because if they come back and they say that I can't use my bullhorn, you're gonna have to arrest me to keep me from doing it because you guys did absolutely nothing during the conservative rallies when that's all they did was shut us up through their use of everyone having bullhorns. Oh, and now you're going to go and ask the Historical Society for an opinion when it's a conservative using a bullhorn? Well, I mean, that just means that you feel like a patron that has to mark their rallies for, like, you know, it's like someone needs to organize the, the rallies for, for someone else. Yeah. Well, I mean, but it, but what pisses me off is that they would say, they would come up and say, we've requested a... I mean, so DPS just proved that they don't want conservatives exercising their voice, but or libertarians even. Uh, but liberals, it's okay. You can come out here and be obnoxious and drown out the speakers and all that kind of stuff. And, oh, we're not going to request a, a historical commission, request, uh, you know, their opinion on whether or not you guys can do that. So when I told him I'm ready to go to jail, that's when he kind of started backing off. And he says, well, we, we don't need to get to that point yet. Well, they, they are being limited right now at this point <laughs> with the shutdown. Yeah. That's kind of a big issue. Well, it doesn't affect DPS, though. Well, at least we have just a smaller percent, so that's good. Yeah. Texas Handmaids? Oh, people are, people are leaving. A lot of people are leaving. No thanks, you're not pretty enough. I don't think it's tight. Yeah, I didn't think so. How's it going, brother? Brother? How y'all doing? Yeah, all, we're all brothers. Yeah, we're all brothers. Every one of us. And sisters. We're all brothers in Christ. Yeah. Oh, you have to ready for fight, huh? no, no. I did my fight in Iraq and Afghanistan. I didn't come home to fight. I just love everyone equally. Take care, man. Be safe and blessed. Well, I'm not allowed to call him brother. You know, I I, I didn't have a white guy complain when I called him brother. See, you, you sit here and talk about equality, and then you pull that crap. Love it. That, that's that love they were talking about, not hate, right? That's that love, not hate, in full display. It's all right. Your hypocrisy is noted. Your hypocrisy is noted. I know. You, you guys love hate. You love hate. It's not love, not hate. You actually love to hate. No, they, don't love, they don't love anything at all. They just hate ourselves. Move along, little doggies. Move along. You notice all these uh, peaceful, tolerant liberals are the first ones to throw out the F word and the middle finger. And man, I, I've had more vile comments. Oh, good. Oh, what's going on over here? Because of the organization organizing and we started that, talking about um, art and the culture, past two years, music, we are in a much better position to resist. Haley's on it. Yeah. Haley's on a roll. This Colton guy, this Colton guy I would not want to be him right now. Which one? I would not want to be this guy that she's yelling at right now. Who's she yelling at? I can't see. Oh, okay. Because you're a man. 
So don't you act like a woman. Walk around. You're, um, you're not a girl. You know what? You're an asshole. An asshole. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Yeah, free speech is very aberrant to you, I swear. You know? You're free to make her shut up. Be a, be a man. Make her shut up. You know, boys will be boys and all that. You know, come on. Let's prove the Gillette commercial and come make Haley shut up. Come on, Pink Hat. Come on, Pink Hat. Make Haley shut up, dude. Come on. Let's see that man penis. What's so funny is that he uh, didn't know how to put on makeup. Juggalos ain't been cool in a while, dude. I have a sign that makes people laugh. That makes people smile. We that and everyone here we just has a little joy. So every all one of us has got a cup of cut. And that's yeah, why so many of us should have to be. I'm a woman too, damn it. Do I have the right to vote for who I want? Should we not march for that, ladies? It's, it's only a quality if you agree. I'm running for Trump because I don't want my border to be trafficked anymore because I want a legal immigrant. Oh, look, here they come. Here they come, the free speech lovers. I want the laws changed for you, for every person. I want people to come to Texas again because they love it here, not because we're mean or evil or cruel. And just because I'm with them doesn't mean you're a speech fetish. Sure, I'm going to ask my dude. Sí, no lo pares. ¿Y qué parte? Viene aquí para ser americano, no para ser de este otro lugar. Yo soy de Texas. Aquí. Viva la women forever. All women forever. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Oh, good. USA. Oh, shoot. What? Oh, they're just moving over. I hate I hate having to make them move, but... Why are you stepping? All right. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna I'm gonna make the maracas go. Watch this. She was the one that recorded me. Who was? Uh, that lady with the sign right there with the gun. Oh, okay. She's on your side. No, she's not. Oh, she's not. Nope. Oh. Do you want to go and explain, maybe? Yeah. Hang on. Hey, just just so you know. What's up? Like, so this is my son. Yeah, I've been. Okay. He does this. Oh. He does this. He does this intentionally. Dude, that, that's my bad. He his whole point is just to troll people. I love it. No. Yeah. You were totally straight faced. It's yeah. so believable. I just wanted you to. I know. I love the other people interviewed me too, and they were like, oh, it's so messed up. And I'm just trying to. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Just trying to BS around. Uh, you yeah, start stuff, I'm going to arrest you. I don't want to do that. Now get that. I'll let you take care of this. What's going on? What are you guys? So apparently, he's a troll. He's totally trolling. I fucking love it. He said that with his straight face and everything. Because the idea. The, the point is to talk about, I mean, do we not have a right to love each other or not? Or love whoever we choose? So how can they how can they tell him he can't love a goat? That's the whole point. And, and yet they argue against it. it. I love it. Oh, oh fucking face. Fuck <laughs> hey, if you're, you're going to get something in the face, it might as well be the American flag. <laughs> Tell me I'm not being patriotic enough. <laughs> Sorry about the confusion. No, you're Yeah, fine. I just wanted to introduce no, you to him. No, no, now he, I have the video and then I have the explanation. Okay. It's great. Hello! Uh oh, well, we got a conversation. I'm, I'm asking one more time. That's your fault. It's their fault. That's their fault. They wouldn't be struggling if they'd have stayed home. That's their fault. It's not my responsibility. Guatemala's problems are not my responsibility. Honduras's problems are not my responsibility. Mexico's problems are not my responsibility. Canada's problems are not my responsibility. Your Moroccas are not my responsibility. Hey, watch this. Watch this. Hey, tell them you're offended by those handbooks. 
I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be offended or turned on by those hand motions. Y'all should get a shake weight, it would be more beneficial. I would like to thank my mother for not murdering me in the womb. Thank you, Mom, for not murdering me in the womb, allowing me this beautiful life. And thank you, Mother, also for allowing all these people to live so that they may come to murder their children and fight for the murder of their own children. Because there's nothing more despicable than a woman who wants to murder her own child. There's nothing more despicable than people who want to murder their own children. There's nothing more despicable than killing the most innocent lives out there. And yet they continue to sit here and talk about gun control. Maybe if maybe if abortions were conducted with guns, you guys would care. You'd start wondering. You'd be like, oh my gosh, all these abortions, millions of babies killed by guns every year while still in the womb. We've got to do something about gun violence in the womb. <laughs> I said maybe if uh, abortions were performed with guns, these people would care more. All right. My mother, at that time, abortion was illegal, actually. There was nothing that. Murder should always be illegal. The murder of the unborn children should never be legal. There is no right to take the life of another human being. Ever. All you feminists that are encouraging the murder of unborn women, shame on you. Do I just push it up? Yeah, just push it. All you gotta do is just push it like you're talking. Okay. Yeah, and then just kind of keep it close. If bacteria... Is it, is it going? You're good. Okay. If you just gotta be Mars, close. If bacteria on Mars is life on Mars, then an unborn fetus is a human being. Just saying! Yes. He, he killed how many babies? How many babies did you kill? And you're happy about killing those babies? Forty-one million since Roe vs. Wade. I'm gonna wait for a good time. Thanks, man. When I was ready, and when it was my decision, and when I was capable of caring for them financially, emotionally, physically, I made the choice to have those babies. It was my choice. Congratulations for choosing not to murder another child. Don't think you're some hero or some martyr because you chose not to murder another child. There are two dead children because of you. You have murdered two children already. I am not going to congratulate you for not murdering the third. It is our place to tell you not to murder other people. It's nobody's place to murder another human being. Nobody's place. I really do keep trying to move where I'm not blaring in y'all's head, but y'all keep getting between me. We had four girls, so he wanted us to keep trying. 
I hope they give you guys earplugs or something. I don't know if y'all. Do they let y'all wear earplugs? Oh, good. Okay. I don't feel so bad. Those don't work. That's why I've got tinnitus. That's why my hearing's And listening to liberals. Been all over my Facebook lately about the earplugs for friggin' 3M sold friggin' faulty earplugs for the military. Like, oh, cool, that's the pair I was issued. Great. Yes, we are. You better take me on out here right now. That's my choice. Not the hunter's choice. on being part of Trump's citizenship. He's undercover liberal again. Yeah. You already have a choice. Lubed, unlubed. Ribbed, unribbed. Goat skin, prophylactics, galore. Oh, don't forget abstinence. There is no choice in murdering unborn children. Keep murdering the next generation of liberals. Support abortion. Abort the next generation of liberals. by choosing not to murder unborn children. I've got my own Morocco section. Morocco for Trump. You see, there they When I speak, they shake. I control these women. They allow me to control them. This white male controls these women just by using my megaphone. Look at the power I have. The power they've given me as a white male. I will stop now so that they may stop shaking their maracas. Oh, 
so much so many people brought their children at the same time. What we want for them and hopefully they can grow up and make a world that is more inclusive and has more possibility. It's kind of hard to grow up and be inclusive when you're killing them off before they have a chance. Abortion is homophobic and racist. Yeah. Everyone in unity, our voice matters. What your unborn baby voice matters. Bunch of fascists killing babies. Abortion was pushed by Margaret Sanger to destroy the black race. You are supporting racist policies and supporting the murder of unborn children. Congratulations for not being aborted. You wouldn't be black, gay, or female if your mom kills you in the womb. You wouldn't be holding that sign if your mom had killed you. And a perfect example of indoctrination right there. Equal everyone. At school, work, online, at home. I mean everyone. We need more feminists to fight for women's rights because sexism is still holding women back. I hear guys in my school. Only women are holding women back. It's called head and shoulders, try it. Guess what? I don't People are so triggered when I'm not quiet. This is my son. That's awesome. I recently read that I've done hey, anything different. Walk around, I wanna I'm gonna film you from behind. Two thousand one hundred and nineteen for equal pay. Um, I'll be dead by then. So my son's please abortion me, please. Twenty cents on the dollar may not seem like much, but when you start adding zeros, you'll start to notice the difference. If you add five zeros, you get one hundred thousand for a man. And if you have one more zero, you have one million for a guy and eight hundred thousand for me. That's a two hundred thousand dollar difference. That's a house. Well, I want a car, and I want a house too. That's the American dream. If I work just as hard, or even harder than a man, then why am I not going to live the same dream? You want to hear my American? Kids' crayons came over here. I'm doing the right thing. There you go. Yeah, I know you didn't want to leave the kids, so. Oh, okay. All right, where'd Chris go? I lost him. Oh gosh, she's a gamer. Here's my escort. My mom was in it because of how much time I spent practicing. Did you know that 50% of gamers are women? Well, according to the International Game Development Association, only 23% of women working in the industry are women. Also, 81% God, here comes the race card. Playing the race card. It leaves you with playing the race card. <laughs> 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 
He's got a sign that says, can you someone abortion me, please? Did you see Chris's sign? Can someone abortion me, please? That is, what is that? What? What happened in the construction of that? That's CJ Grisham. He's a president of Open Carry. Ooh, she got some pictures, CJ. Oh, no. Oh, no, you got more. Go put it, uh, process it, we'll sign it for you. Hey, go ahead and dox me. And let me know when you're coming to my house. I'll gladly walk you in. Just be careful on those skinny chicken legs. I don't know how it holds up the rest of that body. We should go talk to her. I got a camera. Hey, you want a better picture? Would you like both sides? Yeah. I always like to do the three percent when they fucking take pictures. Just fuck with them. Yeah. You really want a picture? Like I care that you're taking a picture of me. What is five hundred? What are you gonna whack off to it? There's 500 women. pictures of you me know, online, pick one. That's a very um, intimate, you know, very emotional well, what I'm saying is, what, what happened with the, 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 the creation of the Spaniel the really it as some sort of horn. I don't know. That's where we find a lot of hypocrisy there. That's the only, my only argument with abortion should be legal. <laughs> <laughs> There must be some exceptions to abortion, and I can count a few of them in here. No. But my name is Jenny Salinas, but I mean, that's my, my, everyone knows me as Jumbo. I'm the president of Texas. Thank you, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Ooh. The wage gap is a myth. It's a social construct. The wage gap is a social construct. Nobody asked you either. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to trigger you, Mr. Horn Lady. Is it a man? Since I'm confused, I said Mr. and Lady in the same sentence. Did the devil make you do that? <laughs> I didn't want to assume, so I went binary. How many scoops is that? Then I read the only In the state of Texas? Hi there. Uh, just celebrating freedom. Yeah. Uh, making sure that people know that not all of us appreciate murdering unborn children, so. Well, you know, some of this is actually about women's freedom and choice to have health care. Yeah, oh, yeah, we, you have, you have health care. You, you have the freedom of health care. What I don't want you to have is the freedom to murder children. Abortion is not, it's, it's not birth control. I can say that. Yeah, well, it's not health care either. Not my body, and, and just because I don't support abortion doesn't it's not mean your body. I'm going to stop others' rights to do as they. Do. So you think people should just be able to kill anybody they don't like, or don't want? Well, then why do you support abortion? That's all it is—is is killing another person. There's other burdens. And you also, your voice matters. And and there are other ways of dealing with that, but there are also ways to prevent that. But murdering someone just because they're a burden—is that really what your? Is that your standard? Is that if they're a burden, then they can be just destroyed? But I just wanted to talk. Yeah, I don't think she's angry. I don't, I don't think you're angry. But no, I mean, it, it, I don't know kind of equating it. equating the killing of a human being to healthcare is a dichotomy. I, I'm not a, a, equating that. I never. Oh. You said healthcare. Abortion. You said right the right to healthcare. I did not say abortion. Oh, we were talking about abortion. Then you said healthcare. So I made that assumption. My bad. Yeah, no, I, I just for a lot of people, this march is is about advocating for women's right to healthcare on a broader right spectrum. To healthcare about abortion what right, no honestly what rights do you not have now I mean, that you had before trump was president what's been taken away my from access you? to proper gynecologists that are not men that what? make me feel safe that are not men no one keeps you from going he, there is nothing trump has done to keep you from having a non-male gynecologist nothing except for less women go to college so then that's women's fault are we is, should the government force women into college then it's institutions 
It's should should government force women to become doctors you know, and gynecologists? Women, no, but more women are entering college as we get older, and more women are going to start becoming doctors. And we should support them. Well, yeah, we should, but what does that have to do with Trump? I, I didn't say Trump. You I just said that Trump is responsible for why you can't get a female gynec. No. I've got it right here. I didn't say Trump's name. You did. You said Trump. No, I didn't. Yeah. We watch it. I did not say Trump. I asked you what. You just. I asked you what is different. You said what does Trump not give to me? I and then you said Trump. exactly what I just said. I did not said. say Trump's name. I said. But you responded to his said, question about what I Trump said, has done. I said institutions do not let women become doctors. I did not say Trump. What I said institution? What institution doesn't let women? Become a doctor. Yeah. All college institutions. What college institutions? Because I will fight. I will fight with you against any colleges that ban women they're from not, being. They're not banning women. Oh, it's they're just, not. Historically, it's been harder for women to enter Why? college because women have not been allowed equal access. So they're not allowing to women to join college, to go to college? Historically, in the past, women have not had equal No, but today, today though. I'm do do about the past because the past definitely affects the present. Well, but if the past isn't going on today, what are we protesting? Okay, so women still don't have the ability to go to college. We don't have equal access to education. So a woman can't file the same college application. Yeah, I mean, where are you getting that statistic? I would argue that you have more access because you're a woman. What number did I say? Okay, well, what women? Well, you said more. More is a number. It's like it's, it's the fact I guess because I'm pursuing an so blame women for not being gynecologists. Y'all should be actually attacking women for not being gynecologists because they're because because they're not becoming gynecologists. You have to see a man. That is wrong. Shame on those women for not being gynecologists so that you can see a woman gynecologist. I'm supporting them so eventually one day they will feel comfortable. Are you working to be a gynecologist? What are you passing out there? Well, so oh, I'm a history major as well. So they won't have to. Is that George? Is that George? Is that a turtle? That is so cool. Is he a snapping turtle? No, he's chilling. Oh, okay. What kind? But I, I'm, I just wanted to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't think that uh, women have any fewer opportunities today. There's less. There's no less access. I, I don't know what the barriers are. You don't know the barriers. Factual and evidence is the way that. You well, know this. I factually don't know the barriers. Because you don't have the experience that I do. You haven't worked in the industries that I have to understand how women are oppressed sexually. How I feel that in service industries, such as the restaurants. Women are not oppressed sexually. That's not true. Do you know how many women Okay, so I don't have those. Since I don't have that uh, experience, I'm going to let Jen talk. You let yourself get assaulted in a restaurant and you want to call the police. That's what the police are for. That's what a gun is for. If a guy assaults you, shoot his ass. Then he can't assault anyone else. You don't believe in killing infants, but you just said you're... No, I believe in killing criminals that are violent. The fewer violent criminals we have in society, the safer we are. Absolutely, death to violent criminals. Why would you get upset that I want death for violent criminals? It's no sense at all. I want violent people wiped from the earth, and that's wrong? That is weird logic. I just find that the conversation is not productive. Well, you're. Ha we'll talk with her then, and maybe it'll be productive. Because I'm, as a white male, apparently I don't have any experiences that I can equate with you. No, I don't want you to equate. I just want you to listen. Well, I can listen, but you're saying things that aren't true. Am I? Yes. You're, you're saying that my claim of being sexually. No, no. Oh, don't sit here and say, okay, look, I'm not going to play the emotional game. What happened to you is wrong. And you tell me where that guy is, and I will make that justice happen. I'm not playing the emotional game. I'm crying because I have experienced this trauma. And I am sorry about that. I am extremely sorry about your sexual trauma, and I truly hope the guy punishes and burns in hell. But the rest of what you said was wrong. Why are you making people cry? We're making females cry. We're such toxic masculine fucking That was a Don't bring tears to an argument about logic. I'm telling you. <laughs> Facts don't care about your emotions.
But I will gladly beat the ass of any man that sexually assaulted you, absolutely. I love, I love how they twist it. I love how they twist it and try to bring it back like, oh, you hate me because I was raped. When did that ever come up? She didn't mention that all the Good golly. Great googly moogly. Look, she went from laughing to crying to laughing. It's all political theater. Play those maracas. Yes. Do what the man tells you to do. Help drown out your own people. Shake them. Shake them. I'm gonna do it again. I want to dance. Just to make yourself reach up and then she wanted to talk to me. She just wanted to talk to CJ to make him look bad. Yeah, she was just trying to make me look bad. But she she apparently thinks that I'm gonna be shamed through her stupidity. I won't be shamed over stupidity. You can't you can't shame me when I've done nothing wrong. I don't sexually assault waitresses, sorry. I kiss them well, usually. I tell them to have a nice day. I guess tell them to have a nice day and give them a nice tip of sexual assault now. Oh, sorry guys, my flag, it's so windy out here. And I've got a hand on my megaphone. Here, let's do this. Oh, shoot. You're still having a hard time. There we go. Would you? <laughs> that would really help me. <laughs> I didn't want to bring a flag just for someone else to hold. Okay, now I didn't All right, let me let me let me bring this back to personal real quick. This is this is why you can't have uh, a discussion with a liberal because when you start to call them on their facts and you start to actually call them out on their lies, they bring in the emotions and the tears. And so when I tell her that what she said was false, obviously talking about opportunities, what does she do? She comes back crying and says, oh, you don't believe me that I was raped or that I was sexually assaulted. Had absolutely nothing to do with anything I said. You got money on it? I dare you to buy a car and buy a box of three I dare you. How much are they? They're like five bucks. A <laughs> if I've got five bucks, I'll do it. I'm going to buy some Girl Scout cookies because I'm a misogynist pig. Oh, wait. This money is not mine. Oh, yeah, I do. I got five dollars. How much are they? I don't know. I was going to go over there with you. And Let's see if they'll sell to me. Let's see if they're gonna sell Girl Scout cookies to me. Can I get separate money so I actually can get them? Well, I'm gonna get them, and then if they don't let me, I'll give them to you. I'll give it to you, and you can get them. Wait! I support women entrepreneurs. Oh, I can't. I can't buy stuff. Oh, that's right. That's right. I can make a donation though, right? Can I just give you five dollars? I'm just gonna give that to you. Can I take a box of cookies though? Okay, well I'm gonna give you five dollars anyway. Thank you. you. You can't. I support women entrepreneurs. Yeah. I don't. I don't. We don't all have the same access to justice. What are they doing? Hey, go. What color our oh, skin is, the religion we practice, who we love, <laughs> what tax bracket Hey, Chris, in, if you follow them is. off the grounds, they'll give you a box. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, uh, fine. Oh, okay, I because I paid for them. DPS just prevented me from buying a box of cookies. Equity. We don't all have access to reproductive health care. We don't all have access to health care. We don't all have access to Government just limited the rights of women to sell cookies. Just keep that in mind. Capitalism! No cookies on the capital. You, you can't, you can't, uh, I guess you can't sell stuff on the capital grounds. And apparently I couldn't donate and then take a box of cookies. That's all right. Look at how he's talking. Look at his side. Respect existence. Or expect resistance. Respect existence. They're not, they're not respecting the existence of a mother conceiving a child. That's hypocrisy. Do you, Do you respect the existence of the unborn child? I didn't think so. Every single year, 
that we have these marches, we have people that are brave enough to come and share their stories. We say it, Jeremy. It takes all of us. Everybody yeah. 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 This feminist will keep aborting female babies. This feminist will abort future feminists. That feminist, that woman will abort future women. The ultimate feminism is aborting feminists. Will you support your son's right not to have an abortion with his girlfriend? No, she couldn't she couldn't sell the cookies because uh, DPS told her not to. She wasn't allowed to. She would have, but they told her no. You should see all my weapons of war, they're amazing. I've got tons of them. I am fully prepared for a war. Absolutely. If only you knew what a penis looked like, ma'am. The only reason you think male penises are so small is because when they see you naked, they shrivel up that way. How dare you assume my gender? How y'all doing? I'm not mad at all. I'm happy. Look at the smile on my face. I'm so happy right now. I could give you a hug. In a purely platonic way, I would give you a hug. You are cute, though. I do like your beard. I would give you a hug if you'd like one. You want a hug? I give you a hug. Come on. Love, not hate, man. Love, not hate. I have a speech in front of me, and I will use some. I am. How are you? Thank you so much. That guy turned down your hug. I'll give you a I'll hug. I love all my fellow humans. I'll even give devil woman a hug. There is no justice in murdering unborn children. That is not justice, that's murder. Killing unborn children is not justice. What did they do to deserve ending their lives? And I want to give you uh, credit to Loretta Ross, who coined the term reproductive justice, out of sister song. Congratulations, Loretta, for inventing fake terms. Give her credit for making up words, yes. There is no justice in murdering babies. You're, you're ridiculous. I am ridiculous. I'm as ridiculous as killing babies. You should do it. The penis, the penis sign is coming out. The penis sign is coming out.
If a man could have a baby, he would be a woman. Reproductive justice is a social construct. I like when you guys yell and help me drown the speaker. Thank you. Thank you for helping me drown this nonsense out. I appreciate it. Where's the maracas when you need them? Fact. 100% of abortions were caused by a penis. Why would someone get a hysterectomy? Well, I guess, okay, that's their right. I'm okay with that. If you want to get a hysterectomy, and we, that's fine. But don't kill a baby. I do support hysterectomies. Oh my goodness. All right. Did we lose? Oh, there they are over there. I guess I'll just stay here. I'm not I'm not blocked in right here. Abortion! Abolish abortion! At the very least, taking strong looks at uh, mandatory sentencing regulations. Ignore Roe v. Wade. Reproductive justice is about disability justice. Hey, do y'all know, Corporal, do y'all know if they're going to be, are they going to be walking? I don't know that, sir. Oh, okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't in their way if they came by here. Okay. Okay. What time is it? 419. I've got to leave at 5, guys, so... Your son's walking around with a big dick poster. I, yeah. <laughs> so funny. And Neil's up there with a shirt that says, he knows she's my co-pilot. Are they together? <laughs> yeah, he's up on the stage. Oh like, my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's a stretch. Can you come with me up there? I don't know. They're going to be No. Try to say hi. What's his name? But they don't have signs, though. That's the difference. They won't, they won't let they you. Oh, they do? I think they do. Can we see? Oh. Oh. All they'll tell you to do is leave. I mean, that's the worst that'll happen. You don't want to get pulled off. No, I mean, they'll tell you to. That guy's with us in the blue hat. You see the blue hat? Yeah. Trade the flag and see if I can get up there with a chunk. All right. Uh, Did they try to go up there? Uh, because practice, they practice, uh, 
Oh, you didn't go up there? Yeah. I, I was keeping an eye on her too. I was like, I was looking around trying to find you. They, you were right in front of me. Yeah. Where did she go? Right up there. By the speaker. Oh, she's already getting up there. Make sure. Shit, she left the house. I raised my daughter's damn ball. They're going to kick me out, though. She's trying to make a run for it. We've got to get a picture. We can flood their mailboxes and voice mailboxes with what we know is our truth. We can write letters to the editor, to the newspaper, to let them know, again, what our truth and our reality and what we want to see society going forward. A society that is full of justice. We can march in the streets. We can talk from the podiums. We can lobby inside. Oh, I, I'm not going to screw with DPS. I, I've got enough issues with these guys. Yeah, only because it's me. I would do it normally. Look at her. I want to live in a world where it is K-N-O-W justice, K-N-O-W peace. So the girl in the white in the very back back there in the center, next to the guy in the pink hat. Hey, um, where's her dad at? There's some, there's some guy in a pink hat talking to her. Okay, all right. As long as he's tracking her. She's 13. Oh, is Neil up there too? Okay, okay. Nice. So she's in the back there behind the... There you go, she got her sign up. I don't know if you can read that. What did Trump do? What did he do? He just he, 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 I'll read it. Oh, the DACA thing? Okay, so her sign says it's not about equality, it's about superiority. I'm now coming to the podium. Oh, yeah, he offered DACA another three years. I got a video here. Your blessed Democrats just rejected an offer for DACA. Just rejected DACA. The President Trump just offered protections for DACA recipients. And the Democrats rejected it. Pelosi shut down continues because they have rejected the DACA offer. Your blessed dreamers will now continue to be illegal because they rejected Trump's offer. White privilege is a myth. There's no such thing as white privilege. White privilege is a myth. It does not exist. So that we can see the support of those that have had access generationally. Because if change is going to happen, those that are descendants of European descent have to be behind black and brown bodies for change to occur. Thank you for everybody who ah, decided to take that step back. I appreciate you for the vision. And we appreciate your racist visions as well. Democrats just rejected DACA. White privilege is a myth. It was created by people who want to blame the environmental, economic, educational, and life shortcomings on others. All people are born free in America and are given the same opportunities in life. That doesn't mean they will be guaranteed the same outcome. White privilege is a myth. Your white finger is a myth. White privilege is a myth. You are a racist. 
Get off of your racist microphone. Stop screaming racism from the pulpit up there. All people are created equal. There is no white privilege. There is no black privilege. There is only humankind privilege. responsibilities and opportunities that white people do. You do not have to be ashamed of your skin color. She did. And white men. Are those yes. What do you think the word dichotomy is? Why are you asking me about the grammar? The word dichotomy or it's an opposing, it's two points that oppose each other. You have access to different resources. That it's sort of out of the, I'm not an English major. I know what the word means. Two opposing ideologies that are in conflict with each other, but are supposed to live in, a harmon in harmony or try to exist at the same time. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my time with this because I want to marinate in your soul and your being, and I want your ancestors to get it to you later. We're done marinating in your racism. We are done marinating in your racist philosophy. And your views. You have privilege just because of your skin complexion. White privilege is a myth. There is no such thing as white privilege. From your white skin, you have to be willing to accept. Black people were sold into slavery by black people. White privilege is a myth. All men are created equal. Black, white, male, female. We are all equal. Racism is, exists regardless of your skin color. Racism is not confined by a skin color, as evidenced by your speaker up there, who is a racist black female. I will not be ashamed for how I was born. There's nothing wrong with my skin color. There's nothing wrong with your skin color. White privilege is a myth. White privilege is a myth. White privilege is a myth. And if we're not willing to have real conversations about that, women issues don't matter. If we're not willing to have real conversations about We won't have conversations about fake things. We don't believe in fairy tales like white privilege. White privilege is a myth. It is a fairy tale. You are a racist bigot. You are nothing but a racist bigot. That's all you are. There was a plan. Black Africans sold Africans into slavery to the white man. That was the plan. But we can't take it away from not willing to accept the fact that 
that there's white privilege and white privilege is a myth there is no such thing as white privilege white privilege is a myth all of you weak cowardly white people who sit here thinking that you have privilege show it please please show your privilege it doesn't exist you get nothing for being white you get nothing for being black your struggle is not the same struggle as black and brown women stop acting like it is it's offensive we don't know your struggle what's offensive is making black people into martyrs and victims. Why do you suggest that black people are too dumb to take control of their own destiny? They are smart, intelligent people. Just tell them the struggle of the individual is universal. The struggle of the individual is universal. Look at all you sheep listening to this crap, buying it, shaking your head. This woman is psycho. I can see why your group is getting smaller and smaller. I would never invite this woman to speak at a bar mitzvah. You all should go home and hang your heads in shame. You're all evil. Listen to her. Listen to how evil you all are. You're such bad people. All of you. Unless you are the speaker, you're an evil person. There's nothing good about you. Listen to her. All of you have some reason to be ashamed of yourselves. And yet you sit here nodding your head like good little sheep and slaves. So that's Jewish privilege that caused genocide. Hang on, I want to hear some more of it. So people with privilege, you can say you're liberal and you understand that racism exists and you understand all the issues when you look around the room and you recognize everybody white. Keep talking, we're getting dumber. Talk about changing the world. The more you talk, the dumber we get. Keep it up. You are about the dumbest person that has spoken today. Congratulations, you racist, bigoted woman. Yes, she is a racist, bigoted woman. This is hate speech. All of you are listening to hate speech right now. It is nothing less than hate speech. White privilege is a myth. This is hate speech. We have first generation women of the globe for joining us, black women of color. Right if you're in the majority, you have privilege. You have black global majority privilege. Barack Obama was a black president. Good morning. Welcome to 2019. You can look around the room and say, this is real white. Oh, no. And I know that they got to be somebody who don't look like us, who knows something about what we try to do. When you stop looking at people's skin color, you will start finding unity. You will start finding love. When you stop looking at what people look like, when you start looking at the content of their character instead of the color of their skin, when we stop dividing people based on what their genitalia looks like, when we stop dividing people based on their skin color or their origin, only then will we have peace and unity. We're never going to figure it out. So three things for my general people with Privilege is a myth. White privilege is a myth. You are a racist bigot. Hey, take your privilege somewhere else, ladies. Hey, keep going with your privilege. Keep going. That's right. You can't be here. You're white. There's too many of us in this room, and there's not enough people who actually need that change. That's because there aren't enough people as stupid as you are. 
You are a complete and utter moron. You are a racist, bigoted, black female. We need to care about the content of people's character and not the color of their skin. Stop looking at what people look like. May you know your power. May you know your freedom. And may you know your love and kindness. I'm going to ask you... You can record me from over here. I don't care. I know my freedom. I think that you're doing what you're doing is great. May and I know I've my power. Supported. And I think Wait, is that, that you feminist? Yes, it is. It is? Yeah. And I love how you're just yelling everything. You guys want to hold a penis sign? Yes! Yes! Okay. Yeah, we came yeah, to yeah, play Pokemon yeah. and now and now. We're going to be May we live in freedom. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. May we live in power. May we live in unity. And may we live in love and kindness. May we understand the content of people's character and not the color of their skin. May we live loving each other for who we are, which is human beings. Not caring about their color or their sex or their devil horns. We are all people equal in humanity, equal in rights and equal in privilege. White privilege is a myth. That was the worst, most racist speech in the history of the Texas Capitol. Well, maybe not the history. I, we did have the Civil War and all. All right. So it looks like it's going to be over. All right, guys. I got a little heated there, but I don't. I, I don't tolerate racism. I don't care what you look like. Racism is bad, whether you're a black woman or a white male. Racism is bad in all colors. I won't tolerate it. I've got a bunch of videos. I'm so glad I came here. This is actually good. Do I need to move? Okay. Hey, I'm going to go to the other side. Oh, it actually looks like we're right here. Bring on the next racist speaker. If you're not here, you're present with me, clap once. If you're here, you're present with me, clap twice. If you're here, you're present with me, clap three times. Y'all are beautiful. Thank you so much. Good sheep, good sheep. Good sheep. Good sheep, yes. We can't keep on talking to and not meeting people. We can't keep commenting on events and not meeting people. We have to build a community in order to change things. The only way we can build a community is if we actually talk to people and get to know somebody that we didn't come here with. I know it's cold because I'm cold up here. Oh, goodness. So thank you so much for moving. A couple of things before I, I leave you today. I want to visit. First thing, thank you for listening. <laughs> Um, Have a good one. Be safe. I know what goes into putting things on like this. So can we just give the organizers? I want you to applaud yourself because you came out today. You're standing in the door. Before I disconnect and before I leave you, and, and, and I'm going to invite us to do a couple of more things. God bless President Trump. To pay attention to our bodies. I'm going to invite us to pay attention to ourselves and how our bodies are asking us to take care of ourselves. I want to invite us to ask ourselves what do we need, how do we need it, and the way that we need it because a lot of us are walking around wounded, a lot of us are walking around traumatized, we're moving through spaces allowing our trauma to traumatize others. We are advocating for change from a traumatized perspective. Imagine how the aborted babies feel. And healing is a lifelong journey. Healing is something we have to do intentionally and we have to talk about out loud. We can't keep on showing up to these spaces just because we're angry. We have to show up in these spaces 
understanding that anger is what built America. Anger is what got us here. Anger is what made slavery slavery. Anger is what built the Holocaust. Not the 45th, the 45th. Anger is why we're here. So why do we want to continue to do things in anger when we can do things from a healed and loving respect? Oh, nice. <laughs> Uh -oh. That takes real, that takes real courage. The courage is saying, I'm tired of wanting to stay home because my body says I need to rest. That means that I can't show up to every march and every meeting because my body says I need to sit down somewhere. My mental health says that I need to just meditate. Your mental health says you're racist. Racism is a mental illness and you've got plenty of it. To what ourselves are saying to ourselves. We cannot continue to keep putting out hate and anger into the world. Everything you have said is hate. Everything you have been saying is hate. You are full of hate and nothing but hate. That is all you've been preaching since you got that microphone is hate. That means that we have to take care of ourselves. Not because we want to take care of someone else, but because how dare we not take care of the vessels that move us to the world every day? How dare we not? How dare you not listen to yourself when you're self saying, I'm tired, hey, I'm exhausted, I'm hungry, I'm dehydrated, I'm time, yeah. I'm traumatized. Cause they're not they fucking letting me fuck with you. This, this, this person was a feminist, this person was a racist, this person used the wrong pronoun. How dare we not take the time we need to heal? How dare we not take the time we need to feed our bodies and our minds and our spirits? How dare we not actually be the change we want to see? You're not doing That's anything so illegal, I'll just tell you that much. Just so you know. You cannot take care of anyone else. You can't be an activist. You can't be an advocate. You can't be an organizer. You can't do anything if you're not well. So I advise you What's really not appropriate is murdering babies, which is what these women want. That's what's inappropriate. Well, is it appropriate or not? I mean, that's, that's, but still. Well, my first question to you is, how are you showing up for yourself when you're Oh, were they doing that? That's okay. I'm fine with that, though. I'm not going to, you know, people can show up for Oh, you show up for you when you are tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Are you showing up for you when you're tired? Is real. coming up saying, Do you think that's appropriate? Where are you as a government official to say what's appropriate for them? Because that's my point. To. Now, is it, a, is it inappropriate? I, would, I don't know. I don't so think it's appropriate either, but you are an authority figure. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Ask for yeah. And that's, uh, that's what I object to is government please. telling, well, to trying to tell us what is or isn't appropriate. That's not your place. Your place is to enforce the laws and the rules and the regulations. And all they were doing is inappropriate or not. We're 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 doing freedom. Doing and really and we, we, we bow out, we retire, we hug I mean, up our jersey. It just, that, so that's why, I mean, you, I understand as a man, let me, let me take this off, let me take this off. I am doing that for you, so that's why I ask. But it's okay. And now I regret helping out. No, but, I, I, and I don't care if they're doing that to me. I've been getting called and made fun of the whole time I've been here, and that's fine. I understand that. And I understand that. Are you a dad? I can ask anybody. I, I know that, but are you a dad? Yes, So I understand where you're coming from as a dad. Yeah, I understand where you're coming from as a dad and a father and a man. I understand that. When you're wearing this uniform, you're in a position of authority. And and they interpret that not as good advice, but as, oh my gosh, a cop is telling me I shouldn't carry this. And and so I wanted to make sure they understood that that's not against the law. That's that's my that's where I'm coming from. So I don't get on to you for doing the right thing as a man and as a father. It's for doing it as a police officer. But I thank you for looking after me, but you don't have to look after me. 
Okay. I've got thick skin, believe me. I've been doing this for a long time. Oh, I've known you for a long time. Oh, okay. okay. So, yep. so I, I, and I have no ill will towards you. I hope it's okay if I touch you. I have no ill will towards you at all. I love you guys, the ones that support my rights and, and, and all that. I just, that was my, that, that's what I was upset about. And that's, that's what I enjoy. Yeah. And I, I understand that. I, I apologize for okay. getting involved. I just all, all I started out wanting to know is, look, you guys aren't breaking any laws because all, the way I see it is they were looking at you as a position of authority. And even though you were giving them advice, they're taking that as, oh, I can't do this. Oh, and and, and uh, one kid knew exactly what was his yeah. first amendment right. And he did. Yeah. So. Still like it's yeah. Okay. And, and that's fine. That, yeah. You have that right as well. Yeah. Hey, take care, sir. We thank you for your involvement and participation and have a few words we'd like to say before we invite you to enjoy our final participant. All right, where is... I'm going to find myself. I think we got to get going. i got to hit the road. We donated all of the equipment and most of the support and transportation for this fine... Hey, you guys be safe. All right, I'm getting ready to take off. Thanks for all you do. Hey, thanks. Thanks for all that you guys do. I, I appreciate it. You guys be safe and have a great weekend. Y'all be safe and have a good weekend. For all shareholders, stakeholders, organizations, community improvement projects, nonprofit groups, civic organizations, and individual volunteers to prepare to help organize and run and participate in next year's event, the Roe vs. Wade Anniversary Rally 2020. For good job. Have a good one, man. You too. Send you some texts and stuff from my daughter. All right, uh, my channel is CJ Grisham. If you wanted to, see. I've got video over up there. So, uh, if you just Google it on YouTube, you'll find the channel. But that's my open carry Texas card. You too. Take care. Hey, what's up? Back again. Back again. Back again. I got a side for you. Want to take a picture with it? I'll take a pic. Hey, look. People have a right to love whomever they want. They want to love, right? I'm with that. I mean, either we believe that, animals. if we believe that people have a right to love whoever they love, then they have a right to love a tree, a goat, or a sidewalk. Or all three. That's a good. Or song. all three. That's a, yeah. That's that's some kinky stuff there. That is some kinky stuff. All right, you can have your sign back. There. That's you not go. mine. I think it is. It's not. Are you sure? No. Okay. And we, the people, are the Thanks, background buddy. of this country. Yep. Hey, where do you order your glasses from? What's that? Where do you order your glasses at? Uh, we, online or? The, order the what again? I'm sorry. I would like oh, oh yeah, Amazon. There, it's called Go Vision Pro. Go Vision Pro. So, uh, they're pretty, what they're uh, 1080p. 1080p. The they're extremely. 1080p by. Okay. I would like to. When 790. 720. 720. 720. Yeah. And they get audio as well. They get audio as well. And uh, this version is also Bluetooth. Oh, wow. So I can Bluetooth. I don't ever do it that way. But you can Bluetooth it to your phone and take phone calls up here as well yeah yeah Dude, those are fun. i point, like doing that stuff we'll so i'm like the glasses are nice yeah well i do open carry bike rides as well okay. and so i and whenever i get stopped i turn these on so that everybody can see my point of view uh because if they take my camera a lot of times they don't think about my glasses yeah, yeah, yeah. and so i still record yeah this, so uh you, this is how you turn it on and off for video so if i push it if i push it once you'll see a light just off to the side and you can see it on your side there it is right there. And you can kind of see it in your peripheral vision. And then uh, to take a picture, you just push the back. But if it's blinking, that means it's, it's, it's recorded. Yeah, we got to get a pair of those. I got taught by a hooker recording video the other day, so I really need to use those. <laughs> and that's not a lie. Yeah, that's not a lie. awesome. About 200 bucks, maybe? Yeah, about that. Yeah, well, I think like 195 something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, really, really good price. But Go Vision Pro is, is what they are. They've got a great warranty on them. Yeah, yeah. And it just uses a little, uh, a little SD card. How about uh, and then just use USB charger as well? Yeah, you just gotta plug in the USB charger and good to go. Let me assure you, you are not at the long run. We are not the champions.
jackbooted groucher's we need to kick down your doors, take your personal liberties, and your reprodukt. Oh, the communists are singing now. A reflection of the dirtiness that was put in the office in the 2006 Yeah, but I would recommend the GoVision Pro. Those are good as well, but the pros just have. Well, actually, I, the, the difference might only be the Bluetooth. I can't remember. All right. But, but yeah, Go Vision's what you want. Yeah, and if you look at um, if my my channel is CJ Grisham, so I've got videos on there that you can see when you're talking, what the quality looks like. Just, just, just search my name on YouTube, yeah. and uh, you'll see that um, that I've got like, for example, when when I was doing an open carry rally, and a bunch of cops just surrounded me with their AR-15s pointed at me and everything. But, but you can see everything, yeah. And the audio is Chris. And what is like the like? Are you seeing like this much of me? Like where's the? I am probably seeing probably all the way down to your camera. Probably something maybe like right here. It's a good. It's a good picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they uh, the only. What was it? The only thing I don't like about it is I've got kind of a wider head. Okay. So they do right, push a little bit if you wear it for a long yeah, time. Yeah. They are they this are a bit compressed. Yeah. But other than that, the they are just awesome. Cool, and like right now, all this noise, it's not like overpowering. Okay. So you'll be able to make all this stuff out. Even yeah. our conversation, you'll be able to hear it over all of this. Yeah. 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 Let's see you go, baby. Yeah, we're ready to go. We gotta get going. Hey guys, take care of yourself. Who are y'all with? Um, student journals. Oh, okay. Alright. Uh, let me get my Trump flag. Oh, it's way over there. Let me get a sign ready. Which one should I do? Do the... Do the abort me one. Okay. I want to see if I can say bye to over there really quick. They went that way, I thought. So they've got, these guys are communists. These guys are communists. This is a communist anarchist band that the uh, Women's March has singing at their rally. Don't find the gun! Don't try to run! There's no crying when you're having fun! Separating mother and son! Now get her done! They've even got communist insignia on their suits and stuff. Let's go, Pedro! Let's go, Pedro! Let's go, Captain Pedro! Let's go, Pedro! Let's go, Pedro! Let's go, Pedro! Let's go, Captain! Like I call everyone. So we got like ten minutes, and that was like four. All right. This and all four of it sucked. To Senator Warren. Come on, give it up for Senator Warren. Come on, nice book for you two. You two. Right, That's CJ Grisham. I'll look it up. Hey, I'd like to call. I thought they were sure to destroy the nomads. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, you ready? Where's Kenny? She gave it to me. She gave this to us. I love that I turn it into a song. It's called Super Callous Factors Racist Things for Ryan Ocean. Good luck, Signer. Where's the signer at? Good luck for this. Let's go.
like it's behind you. Yeah. Hey, thank y'all for everything you do. I'm glad it was peaceful today. Hopefully no one went to jail. Hey, take care, guys. Thanks for all you do. Thank y'all. Be safe. Take care. Be safe. All right. Thank you. All right. So, uh, I don't know if this mic is still working or not. Uh, but anyway, so that was the women's march. We're done. Yes, that music really does suck. It absolutely good. I guess, I guess it's true. There is absolutely nothing good that a communist does, including music. Because these, this is a, some kind of commie band. I don't know what they're called or anything. But, uh, man, this is absolutely just ear-piercingly bad. Music's so good, you have to be forced to listen to it. Yeah. There's a reason why... Hang on, look at this. Well, I don't... Oh, sorry about that. I don't know if you can tell, but probably three-fourths of the people that were here are gone now when, since they started playing. It's that bad. It's terrible. Yeah. Oh, did you? Yeah, and then you've got to deal with this and. Here, hold, hold the hold the flag over there. I got this. Well, I was gonna say, oh. no, I mean, hold it to where they can see it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like, hold the end of it. Hold the end of the flag, so that, no, like the end of the flag. Oh, there you go, there you go. Yeah, we turn sideways. There we go. Never mind, that'll work. All right. Where are you from? Louisiana. Okay, well, welcome to Texas. Can I just touch your hat? Yes. And I've got the, uh, the, you know, the safety pins in case anyone gets triggered and needs a safe space. Well, so. I have a picture of her at the rally, so this will be her, her, uh, I can't believe I'm going to believe this. <laughs> we picked this day to come visit the Texas State Capitol. <laughs> yeah, during the Women's March for Death. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. Nice. So, so, so fascists are beastie? BC bestialist. What do you call a person who practices bestiality? That's I don't know. We tried Beast, to talk about bestialist, that. Bestialist, beastie. I don't know. I'm sure right. the internet has a term for it. Yeah, I'm sure there is. I just so perverted. Oh my gosh, this music is horrible. And I love metal music, but I like good metal music. All right. So uh, I don't know. For those of you that are just now on here, but you weren't on here at the beginning, I want to give you guys kind of an update because one of the things that they um, tried to tell us. Uh oh, oh. One of the things they tried to tell us is that uh, we couldn't use our bullhorns, and the problem is that when whenever we have a rally and the uh, leftist Antifa guys show up, they try to drown us out like there's no business i mean he and actually a lot of times they're very successful with all the noise they make but yet they come up to us and they said oh we've we've asked for uh the texas preservation board for an opinion on use of sound amplification devices so you'll go and ask for the texas preservation board about whether or not we conservatives are allowed to use megaphones or bullhorns but when antifa does it everything's just fine so, it started out pretty, uh, pretty contentious. I'm destroying my Trump sign, or my Trump flag. So it started out kind of contentious, but, and I let them know flat out, I don't care what the State Preservation Board says, if anybody comes back and tries to tell me I can't use a bullhorn until there's a published guidance, then I'm gonna ignore it and I'm ready to go to jail for it. So, uh, thankfully they never came back and um obviously they realized because i told and i told every single one of them troopers there that any one of you that forces me off the ground or tries to arrest me all right thanks you too brother take it easy man be safe um 
But any one of you troopers, I'll put you on notice right now. I will sue you each individually for violating my rights and for uh, discrimination because they never pulled that crap when Antifa did it. So, uh, thankfully, they left us alone after a while. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. It's over. The uh, crap ass music is. Gosh, I've got a headache now. That stuff was bad. I'm going to go to Taco Bell and celebrate. You guys take care, be safe, and be free. Yeah.